Hello! Welcome. Uh, we are the Unreliable Narrator. Uh, we are here at Q Times. Thank you, Q Times! Thank you, Yay! Q Times. And uh, we're going to be playing Dungeon World. Uh, my name is Joseph. Uh, I am Overdroid on Twitter. Uh, and you may have seen me on Q Times before, uh, game mastering for the Uncommon Trust. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we'll just go around the table. Everyone go ahead and introduce yourself, uh, starting with Ash. Hi, I'm Ash. Uh, you might know me from the Uncommon Trust or from Geek and Sundry Stuff or all of those things. Uh, my Twitter is moonclad underscore Ash. Uh, and then also on Instagram at astronaut44. Oh, and I am playing... Um, I've already forgotten how to say it. Ba Banyan, I thought. No, no, no. Banyan. 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 And I am an elf <coughs> druid. Elf druid. Yeah. Cool. I'm Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm Helen. Phew. I got my name right. Helen Alamano. Twitter is Helen Alamano. Instagram's Helen Alamano because I'm really original and thoughtful with my handles of things. Um, I'm playing Adriel. Um, she is, I am an elf and um, I have a bear named Bastion. And you're a ranger, right? I am a ranger, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Andrew, Andrew Pierce, uh, on Twitter and the things I'm the hockey pool. It's a different thing. Hey, um, <laughs> I am Indorod the Fleet. I am an elf mage wizard. <laughs> I'm Jill. Uh, my, I'm Hillcrest the Thief. You can find me on social media at Silly Jilly Marie, M-A-R-I-E. And you probably know me from your fifth grade science textbooks because I was a textbook model. <laughs> <laughs> I did science experiments. <laughs> and then I'm sure you drew a dick in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I just uh, I'm Mike. Uh, I'm uh, Twitter at Mike Villanue. Uh, I spelled it. V I L L A N U. Sunscreen. Uh, it's on the screen. It's oh, on the it's screen, on the screen. chill. Yeah. I, I am playing uh, Jorad Dawnseeker, who is a human paladin, and this is the first human, and this is the first paladin I've ever played in any fantasy role-playing game right now, so. Kind of nervous. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so some of the people here are um, new to role-playing. Some of the people are more experienced role-players. Uh, everyone here, though, is an improviser. Um, and I was really excited to play Dungeon World with a bunch of improvisers because it's one of my favorite uh, ports of Dungeons and Dragons and it's very narrative and so uh, a lot of this is kind of unprepared and we're kind of improvising the whole adventure including myself um, so it's a bit of an experiment but we did have an adventure zero uh, and it went very well I thought it was pretty eventful a lot of stuff happened um, so let's just do a kind of a quick recap of what happened in the very first uh, adventure that we went on. You were on a quest. Right, I, 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 I was on a quest to find an evil wizard named Garlock who defiled uh, one of the temples of my god, my god Gal uh, Galbraith. He, he you should a, know that better. He, yes, I should know that. <laughs> He's the god of smithing and industry. The god um, of difficult pronunciation. Yes, yes. yes <laughs> and uh, we, we caught up with him and and we found him, and I'm going to bring him to justice, but what we found was uh, there's a lot more lying underneath the surface than just this wizard who defiled the temple. Yeah. Like what? He stole the hammer from your, from your temple for, for reasons. A portion yeah. of a hammer. Yeah, well, it's, it's combined within a, a full hammer, so the, the piece of the hammer is inside a fully functional hammer. Ah, I see. Yeah. But why did he steal it? Why did he steal it? Well, oh. it was to defeat a demon, a demon that had taken over the town that he ruled because he was actually a lord. Yeah, uh, and uh, you had uh, Hillcrest. You had an interaction with this demon, I believe. Oh yeah, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> what, what went down there? I met some nice ladies who said, "Drink this potion, this drink." And she said, "Sure, this sure. sounds like a great idea." Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then I was the chosen one. But I questioned it because I was lying about wanting to join his little demon world. Uh, and then he got really mad about that. And he Demons. <laughs> Demons. <laughs> they don't like it when you go back on stuff. And they, I have a, a slight scar here from where I was branded. Yeah. By Akronok. Yes, that's the, the demon. The invisible. Where is it? 
right here. So it's like super obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's yeah. faded. Demon mark. Yeah. yeah. And demon the mark. symbol of the demon is a is a fist clutching an eye surrounded by flames. So you can kind so you of got see that. that. Yeah, a but fist it's clutching faded. an eye surrounded by flames. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Like how big is it? Right like, here. I'm not. I think it's just <laughs> right here. Yeah. Okay. So like four is it inches. Yeah. Like just real life size. Of no, no. Yeah. It's. No, it's like a, it's a symbol. It's and, a symbol. and it's faded. Look to remember that. It's <laughs> faded. We determined it is faded. It hasn't faded that much. Yeah. Although it does sometimes flare itch. up. Yes. It itches. Flare up a bit, yeah. <laughs> and glow. <laughs> Doesn't glow. Not yet, anyway. That you know of. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and what happened to you on this adventure? Any, any, uh, oh, we defeated him, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I got thrown in jail because I was trying to protect um, the uh, ranger. Right, right, I, and you I, helped defeat the the demon as well. Uh, yes, by jumping into the uh, the pentagram and helping with the uh, the ritual, the ritual with um, Garlock. What's yeah. his name? Yeah, with the wizard. Yes, the Garlock the wizard. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's, a bad, he's a pyromancer. So yeah. I learned. Pyromancer. Wow. Good. Wow. Uh, that's pretty wow. much. That's wow. pretty much mostly what happened. So you have Gorlock. Your quest is to bring Gorlock to justice. Yes. So that has not been completed yet because you have to take him back to your civilization. You travel to his civilization, which is to the east. You're heading now back west uh, through the voiceless forest, which is the this is the way you came, oh. uh, being guided by this ranger. So you're heading back Don't west to to your you know uh, your village. Um, of Tusmutin. Uh, so that's that's the goal, is to get back there and bring him to justice before a court or put him in jail or whatever needs to happen. Um, once you do that, your quest will be complete. Right. Um, all right, so you... Well, there's one more thing you should know. Jarhad is an idiot. <laughs> wow. Uh, My believe that is just, <laughs> something. That's one person's <laughs> opinion. Um, great. So uh, you're, ha you're like the forest, the trip through the forest is a gigantic uh, tract of woods. It's going to take uh, several days to pass through it. Uh, but you all decide uh, you're camping currently. And, and, and as you sleep, some of you are having dreams. Uh, so first of all, uh, Wait, did, what? Is she on the adventure? She was yes. there, yeah. She's the one who's leading. Right? She's leading She's you through the forest. Without her. What happened to you on the adventure? Um, what did happen to me on the adventure? Um, I was made invisible um, because <laughs> um, I uh, well I tried to help you. You weren't helping. I, well, <laughs> you looked like you were in trouble. I tried to help. The guy was on the ground. Okay. Yeah. You, we determined you with an arrow through his eye. Yeah. yeah so I I because shot her. I shot him um, with my arrow, um, and then uh, yeah the I guess the the. Gods didn't like that, so they tried to come and get me, and I was made invisible. Um, and then I decided to go. And we're using my invisibility to try and rescue everybody who was arrested. How'd that work? Didn't go so great. No. Um, I, <laughs> oh, uh, I got everybody out because I was the chosen one, and everybody in the town now listened to whatever I did mm. said. So I just said, let these guys out. Because for some reason you were special to Agronaut. Yeah, and we don't when, know why, Once you right? agreed did to you his say pact. That? <laughs> there was no singing wish it, last time, time, but I hopefully they'll sung. be singing this time. Yeah, that was be a great. missed opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we'll do a, a musical uh, adventure. At some yeah, point. and you did summon your bear, who was very forgotten. I did summon my bear, who it took a very long time to come because he found some berries and then forgot that I had um, asked him to come and was eating berries, berries for a while. Mm. Yeah, um, that is one of the traits of of her bears that he is forgetful. <laughs> yeah, okay. but he's ferocious, so it's we okay. We don't know why I was the chosen one. No, we don't. We don't. Yeah, yeah. we don't know that. Um, great. Uh, sorry about that. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, you were you were challenged to a, a trial by combat, right. and uh, as you were fighting the person, you shot an arrow <laughs> into, into the eye of the person he was fighting, thus nullifying the combat because someone else helped. Oh. And uh, you submit. You actually submitted to go to jail. You were like, uh, yeah, I'll go to jail. Yeah. I mean, because I violated the terms of trial by combat. Because you're a paladin. So. As I said, an idiot. He's not, he's not he's an idiot. He's just idiot. lawful. He's an idiot. He's just lawful. Um, anyway, so you are camping. You're all asleep. Um, and as you sleep, uh, some of you have I dreams. Uh, first of all, um, uh, Jorad, uh, you find yourself uh, walking uh, through a field. 
and uh, in the in the distance you see a figure digging a ditch. Um, and uh, as you approach, you realize that this is actually um, uh, Galbraith, oh. your deity. This is an avatar of Galbraith. Oh. Um, and uh, he kind of, as you get closer, he kind of looks up, he wipes his brow. Um, as you know, he is the, the god of, um, of toil, selfless toil. Right. So this is not unusual to see him in this, in this state. And he sees you and says, Jorak. My lord. Please, do not call me such. I am merely a guide, a teacher. I am not a lord. Well, I wish to be guided. Is this a dream? It is a message. A message? <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like somewhere in the universe, someone <laughs> has slapped their forehead. But that is only because I am a god and I know everything. <laughs> well, you definitely know more than I. And cer certain numbers <laughs> in yeah. here indicate. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> uh, your current quest to bring the wizard to justice. I'm letting you know that you may, you may take on another quest and pass that one on. You don't have to, it is your decision. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm considering that quest completed. I However, you, you can go on and finish it if you want, but there may be an opportunity soon to take on another quest of greater importance. So I'm, I'm releasing you, if you choose to be released, if and when you choose to be released from that quest, it is, it is your option. I understand. And uh, if the opportunity does arrive and I'm wise enough to recognize it, I may do so. It's as you suggest. Also, the hammer you have, one of my relics from when I was uh, a mortal as yourself, it may help you. I see. Feel free to use it. I give you permission. Is it in my dream? Yeah, <laughs> it is. And it kind of in the dream is like heftier and it kind of glows a bit. Um, yeah. It's odd because it's it's a um, it's not a, like a, a hammer for fighting. Right. It's the hammer of like a, uh, you know, a forge hammer. Right. right. It's not weighted for fighting, but um, it feels like, you know, there's a there's a power to it. And he says, my blessings be upon you. The road you must travel is dangerous. May, may I have the wisdom you have? And then the, the mists are rolling in, and then uh, you travel on into normal dreams after that. But you will remember this when you're awakened. Uh, all right. Um, uh, Hillcrest. <laughs> I, I, are these two sleeping like that in, around the campfire? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm so assuming close. so. It's, yeah, are they? It's all about cool. verisimilitude. Right? <laughs> I mean, cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yes, Hillcrest. Uh, you also have a dream, um, and you are uh, in the forest uh, where you met um, uh, the demon, um, Agranac. Um, it was on, the entire forest was burning when you were here before, uh, when you, you met Agranac. And now the, fi the flames are out, you smell the smell of, um, you know, burned wood uh, and, and decay, um, but there's no fire, it feels cold here. Um, and uh, you see uh, a shape moving among the trees. It seems to be a little girl. Hmm. Hello? <laughs> Can you come out? She steps shyly out and kind of looks at you. Does she have a face? <laughs> she does have a face. She looks familiar to you. Do I know you? Uh, make a wisdom roll. 2d6. Oh, good. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is you as a little girl. You look... Uh, I know you. you. You're me. What do you want? You think you know me, but you don't know me. Because you don't know yourself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know myself. Little me. What do you want? They're coming. Who's they? They need you. Who's they? Be specific. 
this is why you got in trouble because you weren't specific enough. Listen, I'm telling you. Just trust me. What? Who's they? <laughs> oh God, I'm annoying. <laughs> will need you. You don't know who you are, but it's in your blood. <laughs> and she runs away into the woods. What is it? And then you pass on to more troubled but normal dreams. Okay. Um, great. Uh, so you're the only two who have unusual dreams uh, that are uh, specific. Um, when you wake up, there is someone in your camp. Who, who apparently, like, uh, who was on watch, by the way? <laughs> the bear? The bear. The bear was on watch. And the bear just, forgot I, to be on watch. No, 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 the bear was told. I'm sitting next to oh, the yeah. bear, scratching the bear's okay. head. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, on a rock. Uh, yeah, so you see uh, your druid friend that you, you, yeah, you've been with before, uh, known before. Um, yeah, so, and she's sitting there. Snuck up on us. Not hard. Hi, Bonin. Good to see you. Good to see you. Are we a bit disappointed? Um, <sighs> Please I, spit it out. I expected this sort of thing from you. Maybe you. What are you doing with them? <laughs> <laughs> They're paying me. Right. So, um, there's a wee bit of trouble in the woods. Um, yes. The heart of the forest has been corrupted by a demon. <laughs> um, oh, that's nice. And I've been chatting with, you know, obviously animals. <laughs> Anyway, the spirits of the woods said that I would find a group that could help me. A fearsome, brave group. That's us. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it seems to be. I was also told that one of the folks in the group as somehow connected to the demons. Couldn't help but notice your little... <laughs> your little hey, buddy. To two there. Yeah, well, things happen. How you doing? That last little, you know, we're... Yeah. What's that about? Oh, you know, became the chosen one right. to Agronach. Mm. But we defeated him. I, I'm i sorry. I. Okay, great. We banished him. We banished him. I don't know that we defeated him. I had a him. weird dream, though. Hey, listen. You, you may think that the last thing you did was actually really good and you probably pat yourselves on the back and it's all nice and everything, but you've sort of started a shite storm um and i need some help unfortunately from you lot to I guess kill another demon <laughs> gorlock also is with you yes, because he's traveling saying. with you and he's just kind of sticking his <laughs> stick in the fire you know he loves fire does he uh, i well uh I talked to him and I said, "My it seems that my God has released me from my current quest, uh, and I, I believe that you have been brought to justice based on what my God has told me." Uh -huh. Do you wish to stay with us? And I don't feel like I've been brought to justice, and I owe you all a debt for saving my town from the demon. That I was, I had a hand in bringing to this world. See, it wasn't all me. So I'm going to travel with you, and I'm going to submit to your justice. Cool. Who's that? Whether whether you need it or not. Okay. That's all right. Uh, Gorlock. I am Gorlock, the pyromancer. <laughs> and flames appear in his hand. There's a lot of a very a lot flammable. Of Sorry. Shh. <laughs> Forest. I'd like to make an impressive first impression. Right. I can say honestly that facing another demon will be far preferable to facing the banana court that this man is trying to drag us to. Maybe there's a 
Banana corpse? What? what? Court. 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 Oh. Court. He's trying to bring this man to justice. And I will be brought to justice. I think you can work off your debt by helping us with this extra demon. Well, I'll help you with that, but I destroyed your temple and stole the hammer. And it was to save my people, but it was wrong. I should have asked you for help, obviously, to begin with. Well, it seems that we must have another demon to rid. <laughs> and, uh, and then we can bring you to justice after. Kind of look up on the tree though. Uh, there's a squirrel up there, and I'm asking it mm-hmm. the name of the demon because I don't remember. Uh, uh, the demon that has infested the heart of the forest is. Can you beat squirrel telling me? Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I know. Uh, yeah, what was the name of that? The the one who's corrupted the heart of the forest. What's his name? <laughs> Get out of here, squirrel! <laughs> no, what is he doing? <laughs> I take a rock and I chuck it at him. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all friends. We're all friends. What was the name of the just demon a pine that's corrupted the, the heart of the forest? Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a people word. I don't know. It's a people word. I know the word for nuts. And, <laughs> and, it's, and, uh, and for a uh, bear. And the word for bat. And tree. Do you know what's the animal word for it? Uh, we have no word. It is the darkness. Great. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Squirrel. Did he say anything? No. Oh, that was okay. fun. Mm-hmm. I, I chuck a little nut at him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, he runs away. That was not productive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to remember the, the name of the demon? That's why I asked the squirrel. <laughs> No, the squirrel. Yeah, the squirrel can't speak. Squirrel doesn't know where. You know, he knows the squirrel stuff. We were stuff. talking in human. <laughs> I know, but that's the thing. Is like, okay, knows, all right, fine. Yeah. What's the name of the demon? Uh, Zornud the Bleak. Zornud. Zornud. Yeah. There's this whole pantheon of demons. <laughs> there may well be. There's many demons. So you you mentioned that, um, and the pyromancer kind of like goes, he he, he seems concerned. Like, uh, like that, uh, what, what concerns you? <clears throat> well, my cabal, the group of wizards I worked with, as I told you, they were all destroyed by the demon they brought into this world, but I, that demon was, didn't always work alone. It was part of a group of, of demons that worked together. Demon team. Demon. Demon. You can, <laughs> you can make light of it if you wish, <laughs> but the talons of Stygia. Talons of Stygia. Have been trying to break through the walls into this world for millennia. Um, Is that what they call themselves? Talons of Stygia. They are the talons of Stygia. Is <clears throat> Zor not one of these talons? Yes. How many talons are there? Yeah, how many demons in the talons of Stygia? There are six. All right. And we already got rid of one, right? Well, you... We certainly banished it. We I sent it know. back. It's not dead. No. Demons can't die unless you kill them in their... Unless you kill them. That makes sense. In their home place. Oh. And if you travel to hell and kill them in hell, then they die. But yeah. you can't kill them here. Yeah. And I, I would not even think about going to hell. To, that you'd be... Okay, They're dangerous. but once we've got them to hell, they can't come back, right? No, they can come back. Well, what's the point of all this? They can, we're just going to banish them and they can what's come the right back? What's the point in eating? You're just going to get hungry again. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take a rock and I check it at him again. <laughs> I feel like having a demon come to, the, to here is a bit different than having a meal. It's very difficult to bring a demon to this world. It took my... My cabal, uh, a great deal of rituals. We had to track down uh, magical artifacts and components. It's not easy to bring them to this world, but once they gain a foothold, then it becomes easier. I check a rock at you. (laughs) That was dumb. (laughs) Bring him in here. I was only doing what my what my mentor taught me. They paid the price. They're all gone. I paid the price, 
Everyone in my village was corrupted by Agronok. Okay. So how did the second demon come out? Don't tell. We don't know. Someone must have agreed to a pact. Someone who could be a gateway. Someone in the forest. Possibly. Well, so how did you how did you come upon this news of, uh, of another demon somewhere in the forest? That, well, um, I mean, it was completely really noticeable that a demon took over the heart of the forest and corrupted it to everyone living in the forest, oh. which is... Ah, I, I see. Are you corrupted? I see. Benjamin? I don't like the one with the, the demon fest on my chest. It's, you can't see it that much. It's, it's kind it's of noticeable. Pretty obvious. It's pretty it's, it's, it's like a fest. It's, it's like very on fire. Noticeable. It's, it's very noticeable. It's it is right troubling. There. What happened to you? You, there's something, you have a link to Agronach. You have a link to Stygia. I, I don't know what happened. Are you the stepping stone? Did you are make you, a pot? Are you the conduit? I Did told him I- Did you open a portal? I don't think, not that I'm aware of. I told him that I joined his group, but I was lying. And then he really hurt me until you saved me. Uh, Would that count as a pot? Words mean something, whether you're lying or not. If you agree to what a demon proposes, then... Mm. Mm. It doesn't mm. matter whether you mean those words or not. If you say them, they okay. become truth. Now things are making sense. I had a dream <sighs> where annoying me came and said there's maybe some more Yeah, some more of these guys. Oh. The demons. <sighs> you had a dream that baby you said that well, that wasn't a baby. Maybe like eight. Yeah. She was cute. I was a cute kid. I can see that. What are you thinking? A more I bet you that kid didn't have the scar on your chest. On uh, her chest. Nope. Well, we should go to the heart of the forest and see what we can do to stop this. Should we? Yes. Yes. All right. I, I'll do. I'll go wherever Jorad goes. But we shall. We should go to the heart of the force, and I release you from. Justice. And I refuse your releasal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, then I'll take on a new quest, is to stop this demon. I think you're gonna take on a new quest. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I mean. All right. So this quest is ended. Right. So right. you're gonna take on a new quest. Right. Um, does anyone have anything they wanted to say? Is that one of your like skills? Oh, that is, he's always, always yeah. questing. It is, yeah. Great. So, uh, what is the like? State state your quest so that we all kind of know what it is. Um, to uh, to banish this demon, this uh, so Zornad it's the bleak. To banish Zornad the bleak. Yeah. Okay. So you get to choose uh, two boons. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can have an unwavering sense of direction to blank, invulnerability to blank, uh, a mark of divine authority, senses that pierce lies, a voice that transcends language, a freedom from hunger, thirst, and sleep, um, or something else. If you think of something else that is reasonable, you can choose that. What, what does the mark of divine authority give me? What is what's, um, what's that supposed to do? It's literally like it gives you, you know, like... Pe uh, very much like this. <laughs> But the other side, like you, 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 like creatures, uh, creatures of good and law will will ah. pay obeisance to you. They'll listen to what you have to say. They'll, you know. That's a good it, thing it, that all it, of us are creatures gives, of good and law. Yeah, it gives you it for not. It gives you literal authority. Um, ah. Yeah, um, I don't want them to have that. <laughs> <laughs> well, for player characters, it's up to you if you decide you want to submit to it. But it, yeah, it will work for non-player characters that you encounter. Yeah, but you know. Um, yeah. sure, I'll do that. Okay, I so mean, that's you know, one. You have a mark of divine authority. Yeah. You oh, can have another one if you'd like. Um, <clears throat> let, let me go uh, hunger, thirst, and sleep. Okay. Since we're tracking it. Yeah. All right. And then, and then am I going to get a vow here? Then I will give you a vow, yeah. Um, yeah, because, um, because of what happened uh, with the one-on-one -on -one combat, uh, mm -hmm. you're going to have to take a vow of honor. So, no cowardly tactics or tricks. That's what it was before, by the way. 
Uh, well, now it's like doubly so. Doubly so, okay. Yeah, because right. you kind of broke that vow. Yes, so, I did. Uh, which I'm gonna I'm gonna so, overlook, but yeah, for this. Luckily, week, I don't um, have that. That was, that was yeah. He does. Yeah, but that includes like your companions. They also must. You yes. know what I mean? Like. What? Now it's what, doubly so. What yeah. do we have to do? Yeah. No cowardly tricks and tactics. This goes for all of you. We or you we must watch. fight with honor under my watch. Why? I mean, or what? Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, or I don't be bound to those. And he is like it's up to you once again to decide. But he is shining with an an like holy authority. Like even more so. Like he, it's like you you want to do what he says. Like you feel like he is, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you can decide not to, but you feel you feel a sense of like rightness and goodness from him. But it yeah. did say that it affects all good and lawful creatures, right? Correct. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're I wash chaotic, my hands of your effect. If you're, if you're chaotic <laughs> or evil, then you don't, care. you don't care. Banyan yeah. and I work together sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> don't tell the world. <clears throat> Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. Especially you. Why are you? Um, good. Uh, no, no arrows to the eyeball when a man is down. Please. I was helping. He was standing. <laughs> he went down because of the arrow. All right, all right. We just need to stand. No. No, if you were watching, I knocked him down I to the ground. I don't care. I was I, 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 talking to you, chest eye. Chest eye. <laughs> Let's not body <laughs> shame anyone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get some mud. I'm p- covering it up. All right. You can't see me. <laughs> Sorry, it's a predator for me. Anyway, um, uh, uh, great. So, what's the plan? Is it morning? Yes. Oh, it is morning. Yeah. I mean, you woke up and you found this uh, druid was, in your camp. So I'm gonna uh, uh, break our fast and then. I was. I'm about to break my fast because oh, I don't mean to eat today. <laughs> that squirrel looks good. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this isn't going to be annoying at all. <laughs> I love it. That's how you're, you're going to be like, I don't need to eat because I'm a paladin. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you're still either. you're still hungry. Yeah. You just don't need to eat. Yes, yes. So I think probably more going, instead of eating, spending time in the holy contemplation might be. <laughs> Rather I, than I bragging meditate. about... I will meditate. Is there a... Is there and, a and, and just, yeah. yes. is there anything we should get in preparation to face a demon? Anything more we need? You're a wizard. Uh, what do you? But I am a very young wizard. <laughs> I, I think the wizard can go with quotes. <laughs> I chuck a rock at him. <laughs> I think you know more than you know. What do you know about demons? Well, I know that they are evil. I know that they are not here for our best interests. I know that to banish them takes a tremendous amount of energy and focus. Wow. Nice. I said I didn't know very much. I was being honest. What do the demons want? They want to come to our world. They're trapped in, in hell and Stygia on the other side, and they want to come here where they can ravage and destroy and control. That's not nice. Corrupt. Mm. Well then. Every wizard has his own secrets of lore. I, I would be interested to consult with you. I don't consider you young so much as inexperienced. True, I am an elf. I am much older than I appear. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> we shall go. Um, no, and also, like, as a, you know, like, this is Dungeon World, it's like, if you think you know something about demons, you can say it, oh. and it's like, then it's part of the game, you know, unless we all completely, it's something ridiculous, like, you know, demons are made of chocolate, them, you, you know. trip them, they go back to the <laughs> yeah. All you have to do is shake a stick at them, and they disappear. No, that's, you know, but yeah, it's like, I mean, we're kind of, Dungeon World, we're okay. kind of creating this lore together, so. We're yeah. building our world together. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um... Cool. All right. Uh, so you're, I guess, undertaking the journey to the heart of the forest. Um, you know that as you approach this place, there are things uh, like forest creatures that have, that will be corrupted or have been corrupted, um, and it becomes more dangerous as you get closer. Uh, good. Any questions or? 
as we're walking, I would like to try to have a side conversation um, with you, Hillcrest. I'm assuming we're walking. You guys didn't bring horses or anything, right? They don't have horses. Can I ride my bear? (laughs) Sure. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that's cool. Why not? I'm on my bear. (laughs) You can, like, shoot mounted from your bear. Good. So, yes, you're having a a conversation. All right. Um, Hellcrest. I didn't want to say anything in front of the others, but um, I think there's a bit more to your connection with these demons than just your new little... It's fine. Um, (laughs) The person who's connected, according to the spirits, there's something in their lineage that connects them. It's not just a recent agreement. It's... Do you have any demon relatives? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Not that I'm aware of. I, mean, so I don't really know a lot about my lineage. Right. Um, yeah, you may be. I, I didn't know a demon. I didn't know a I didn't know. Yeah. I just, it wasn't you I was expecting eyes. to find when they described oh, that person is somehow related to, de-. like, they, they used the word related. They didn't uh-huh. use the word, like, f- you know, friend of. So, ah, uh, great. So we'll just be aware of that, that you could maybe, you know, have, like, a, I don't know, estranged grandpa pop up in the forms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, noted. Um, I did have a weird Uncle Ted, but oh, that was, he seemed demon related. Right, okay, cool. Um, yes, good to know. Thank you, Banyan. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Banyan. Banyan. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Hey, it's weird close. Luckily, it's luckily um, <laughs> you know, Enderod was just eavesdropping, so that's... <laughs> Walking in a very tight group. <laughs> it's Rod, hard not to overhear. Rod, did you hear any of that? I just heard you pronounce her name wrong. So Onion. for Dungeon World, uh, there is a move called Undertake a Perilous Journey, which is what you are currently doing. Uh, so in order to undertake a perilous journey, you're going to choose one person to be your trailblazer, one person to be your scout, and one person to be your quartermaster. Um, you're all rolling wisdom. Uh, so it's the wisdom roll for all of these three rolls. Uh, before we go on, I, I want to mention that I do have a bond here that I that I know something incriminating about Hillcrest. Okay. So uh, yeah. I don't know what that is yet, but yeah, yeah. I do. I side with yeah, it. I, I'm about to. And I think we're we're I'm getting some good hints about what that might be. <laughs> yeah. and Hillcrest is keeping an important secret from me, and I think I may know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So that all works out. Let's let's do, yeah. Um, Who's going to be what? Okay, so the quartermaster basically uh, determines, it's not as important as the other things, but it determines how many rations you use on the journey. Uh, The trailblazer reduces the amount of time it takes to reach your destination. And the scout spots trouble quick enough for you to get the drop on it. So that's probably the most important uh, one. So you probably want someone who's got a pretty good wisdom uh, for that. Can you hear how you use them? Yeah, I think I the like ranger does too, right? Yeah. yeah. I've got so high both of you wisdom. Um, I also, when I undertake a perilous journey through wilderness, um, I, whatever role I take, I'll succeed as if I rolled a 10. Yeah. Well, that's pretty Ooh. cool. That's pretty that's awesome. Pretty good. Yeah. Mic drop. You're the uh, scout then? <laughs> scout. Yeah. And what was the other, sorry. The quartermaster? I'll be the quartermaster. Well, what was it? was the scout, the quartermaster, and then the uh, trailblazer that determines. I didn't know my way through the woods. One that makes sense. Yeah. Good. So uh, the three of you roll wisdom. You're going to roll anyway because in case you roll a twelve, that you'll get something special to happen, right? But it's whatever you roll, it's basically a ten. That's not great. Seven plus one, eight. Eight. Okay. Um. <laughs> wow. Uh, I get it. I got a seven. With my bonus. I saw that all the way from here. <laughs> what is it? Twelve. Well, technically it's a thirteen. Oh. 
So good job. Thanks. Good job. Thanks. Good job. Thanks. Wow, you did roll 12. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. All right, great. Natural 12. For <laughs> I'm prepared just, for it. I didn't. I didn't. Um, uh, so, um, uh, you, so you use the new normal amount of rations, so you are going to mark off one ration uh, if you have one. Uh, so it should be under your equipment. If you don't have rations, uh, then someone will have to share with you, and they'll have to mark off more than one. I don't have to mark off rations. Um, because of a druid thing? I'm sustained by nature. Yeah, you're just like picking berries as you walk along. <laughs> like, yeah. Bears grumbling about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I brought some berries with me for Vastu. They're from his favorite part of the forest. No, he's grateful. Yeah. Great. It's uh, always good to have bear berries. Bear berries. Bears like a very it's specific. It's the bear bear berry is the bear 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 berry. We berries. did say there'd be singing. Forget about the berries <laughs> that aren't berry oh, berries. Oh, that's copyrighted oh, music. Oh, oh, oh. Nailed it. What? Oh, we can't use that. It's copyrighted. Yeah. Never mind. Happy birthday to no, you. Yeah. Oh, that, no, no, that's yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's free now. That's free use. Yep. Free yeah. use. Oh, yeah. nice. Unfortunately, it's no one's birthday. Okay, great. So, um... Uh, so you marked off that, and yeah, the, as the trailblazer, you're you're able to get them through the woods. I don't know if I marked anything off. Quicker than normal. Um, you don't. Oh, for food, yeah, you'll have to mark off. Um, I don't think I have any food. Then someone else will have to mark off too. All right, I'll take dog two. Okay. I have loads of weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to have loads of weapons. Uh, great. Um, yeah, I don't have any rations either, but it's fine. I don't need them. Very eager. So, uh, to get to the temple in the center of the woods, the heart of the forest, um, there is, you have to uh, pass uh, across a bridge. Uh, and on the other side, um, the, it's not far from that. But uh, <clears throat> the bridge is being guarded by what appear to be two large humanoid creatures. Um, they almost seem uh, made from like bark and stone. Um, but you are able to, since you, you know, are amazingly scouted ahead, you can totally, like, sneak up on them and, and help everyone else to sneak up on them. Um, but you have to cross this bridge, so there's not really any way to get around them without confronting them. Um, and are they going to be hostile? Are they not going to let us cross? They look hostile. Um, uh, in fact, you're pretty sure that these are ogres, which are... Um, you know, uh, evil evil creatures of the woods. So, um, yeah. I'm going to turn into a wolf. All right. To wolf. <laughs> Good. So th I believe there's a roll for that to turn into a wolf. Is there? It is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Determines yeah, yeah, how many yeah. moves you get when you turn oh, into a wolf. God, I hope I roll well. Yeah. I didn't last time. What happens if she fails the roll? Does she like become a half? I don't know. What does it say? Does it say <laughs> what happens? Go ahead and read the. Um, give us the cold. details of that. <laughs> 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 Ten, really or above is hold three, Ten or above seven, is hold three. Seven to nine is hold two. Six or below is hold one in addition to whatever the GM said. So I, I, I do. Good. So if you roll low, you hold one, but you might also be overcome by the instincts of a wolf, for example. Um, ah, okay. Right? You might have less control or whatever, you know. Oh, wow. wow. So you rolled a 12. And that's a 14. So you're as wolfy as you can be. <laughs> You're super wolfy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my holds Great. Uh, to summon the pack. Okay. Wow. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. So the druid turns into a wolf, and uh, I begin to climb a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, a pack of other wolves. Um, how many wolves in a pack? Uh, roll two d six. Okay, but I feel like there's more than just. Well, it depends on what's nearby. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. And woods. so there are 11, 11 other wolves like just silently creep, come out of the woods all around her. So there's one oh, large wolf. So tell us kind of what this looks like in, when you turn into a wolf and, 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 ha and how you summon them. Yeah. Um, so when it, when I turn into an animal, it looks different to, to whomever is looking on. Mm -hmm. It's And it's you immediately forget what it looks like and you're not able to describe it. You just remember it looks really cool. Um, <laughs> and, that's how you roll. Yes. Yeah, and it's sort of like almost a, a shifting in in space, like a little, and you see different colors. But like, if someone were to ask you what did it look like, you'd be like, I, ah, uh, it was just really cool. She was not a wolf, and then she was a wolf. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's yeah, it's like a little shift, and um, you see like falling leaves 
almost like I turn into leaves and then they fall and then there's a wolf. And then you see a bunch of like little tiny fireworks. Cool. Yeah. And then you see like, it's almost like I become like the absence of light and then the wolf disappears. It's very weird. And then I just turn straight into a wolf. There's like no... There's no transition. She this, was just yeah. her and then a wolf. Exactly, yeah. So you, had the, you had the cheapest special effect. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out of the budget after this. It was just the kind. His, it was like, it was it was like, like I don't, we're out of the... I am not yeah. I guess. I just don't. do yeah, a crossfit. Like just do a crossfit. <laughs> yeah. It was like a, like a 1970s commercial where someone snapped and just... Yeah. Yeah. Just go. And then there's a wolf. Jump frame. Good. So I just turn into like a wolf, and it's I'm like a black wolf with like yellow eyes, mm -hmm. uh, and a bit larger than normal wolves, like not quite a dire wolf, but like almost. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other wolves come from the come from the woods, and they're already snarling and headed towards the ogres. And these ogres are still unaware of our presence. Oh, they have no idea. Yeah. Like, yeah, your your ranger uh, rolled a twelve, so mm -hmm. like not only that, but you found a path where you can basically kind of, if you want to, come up. Uh, from beneath them, from like so, if like if they, if this is the bridge and they're standing over here, you find a, a way you can kind of there's like a path that comes up from the cliff face, so you can come up literally behind them and get the drop on them. Although the pack of wolves probably won't be able to come from that direction because uh, they won't, they wouldn't. It, it takes a little bit of uh, it's not a it's a bit of a treacherous path, so the wolves probably can't come from that way. So um, go treacherous paths, they're wolves. <laughs> they get, yeah, I mean, they, you might need to use your hands, hands a bit, holes, is what I'm yeah. saying, yeah. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Um, well, I'm still riding um, Bastion. Okay. Um, and, That's your uh, bear. The bear. Bastion the bear. Bastion the bear. Oh. Um, and uh, I'm coming up this hidden cliff drop okay. to approach the ogres by surprise. All right, you Whilst. probably won't be able to ride Bastion up it, but you can. Uh, okay. You you can so come up come up separately, or have him come. You know, with okay. the wolves, it's up to you. With the wolves. Yeah. Um. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> he's, he's already with you, so he yeah. won't. He's not gonna forget and run away this time. Really? The reason, yeah, the reason he forgot <laughs> last time is you sent him off to do something, and then you kind of summoned him. And he was far away, but he's with you. He won't forget. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He knows. He is, yeah, he knows what's going on. So, All right. Yeah. Okay. I still. I need to learn how um, how long his memory is. Still, I, I, I'm still trying to figure out like how. I feel like you know, if he's being attacked, he'll remember. He'll remember. Yeah. He'll fight being back. Attacked. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's like he, his friend, you know, Benin is here, and there's these cool wolves. He loves it when she turns into animals. So great. So he's yeah. like, yeah, my wolf friends. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, he uh, he gets to play with them and be ferocious. All right, so he's joined the wolf pack. Great. So <laughs> there's a pack of twelve wolves <laughs> and a bear and, and a, a bear. giant bear <laughs> and a bigger wolf. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's one of the twelve wolves. Oh, okay. So, right. Yeah, there's eleven oh, wolves that joined. Wolves, yeah. I'm the twelfth wolf. Okay, okay. And Bastion <laughs> thinks he's a big wolf. Great. So you're coming up the path. Who? Everyone? Anyone else coming up the path from um, the back? Um, yeah. No. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. I grab my glaive, my uh -huh. glaive, I oh, stand you idiot. up, and I walk oh, straight into to, to, to the foot of the bridge to where the ogres are. I pick are. up a rock and try to <laughs> <laughs> I pick up and it I just shout, goes off his armor. And I shout, announcing, Creatures, we must pass. Let us pass or forever, by the power of Galbraith, face your doom. <laughs> I say that, shining, up front. I'm going to hold back for a second to see how this goes. Because um, it could be funny. The ogres have kind of a, a distant expression in their face, which is unusual for them, from what you know of ogres. Um, you know, they're they're dim-witted creatures, but they don't. Um, they're not, definitely not. they're vicious and they're aware of their surroundings. And these ogres seem kind of almost like they're staring off into space. And, <laughs> and one of them uh, speaks, and uh, it's the voice comes through it that is definitely not its own voice, um, and it says. Uh, Zornad the Bleak oh, welcomes you to your doom. <laughs> Zornad. And the other one speaks. You shall not pass. Instead, we shall throw you into the ravine below Paladin, where the rocks shall be your final resting place. It is your future that is bleak, Zornad. I... I stand my ground then. All right. Yeah. Uh, they pull out. Uh, they each have like a giant kind of club with like you know rocks stuck into it as like spikes, and they go. Aah! 
and they both charge at you. Okay. Uh, what are the What are the two of you doing? I will throw a magic missile at one of them at this point. Oh, well, let's, before, no. like, because we're not really getting into combat yet, because you were coming up the path. Like, what oh, order What doing. order are you coming up the path in? Like, who's first? I'm not first. You must be first. I feel like I'm first. All right, the ranger's first, uh, and then who's second? I'll, I'll be second. You're second, and you're third. So, at this point, like, uh, until you get up to the top, like, you're the only one who can kind of target these creatures, because you're at the top of the path, like, until... Okay. You know, she gets up, other people can't really do anything. And so wolves, it's one, right? wait, one, two, yeah, three. The yeah, the wolves, the bear, and the paladin can all attack, for okay, sure. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. So both of these things are going after the paladin. That is what they're doing. Both their clubs are like, Aah! Um, And so let's just start with you, sure. since you rushed out there first. Sure. So you're going to, so you're using your glaive. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Yeah. I mean, is, is this a hack and slash, then? It is hack and slash, yeah. Okay. All right. What was that? Oh, there it is. Uh, it's a strength roll. Yeah, strength. Okay. Right. Oh, now I get a plus one because my uh, level up. Yeah, because you leveled up your strength, so you get a plus oh, one. Oh, great. It is a seven with a bonus included. Okay, seven. so you will take damage. Sure. Uh, these things are pretty tough. You're going to take a die eight plus six. Because ah! both of them, both of them, like... Like they kind of like the the two of their their uh, their clubs kind of smash into you from either side, um, uh, and, and <laughs> right. the wind is knocked out of you. Um, yeah, how okay. much did you lose? Seven points. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you rolled low. I'm that's rolled, that's I good. Yeah, but low. these things are are yeah. not wind out of the way. Now, now, I want to watch uh, this. I don't think uh, when we were doing Adventure <laughs> Zero, we counted armor. Okay. And uh, your armor is what Scale? is your what is your armor? Is so Scale that's. Armor? That is, I believe, worth two. And you, do you have a shield? No, because you yeah. have a two-handed weapon. Yeah. So you get to reduce that by two. Oh. The damage you take, you reduce it by two. Okay. Yeah. So I think all of you, well, except for the wizard, you probably all have some sort of armor. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it'd be under your equipment. What do you got there? Um, I have a bow and a sword and arrows. Okay, so you don't have any armor. Oh, I have leather items. armor. Yeah, so your armor is one. It protects you from one point of damage. Um, I have leather I, I just oh. have a bag. I have armor. It was hiding. <laughs> and you can put a one right there. <clears throat> my so Joseph, she has leather armor. Really okay, great. So yeah, Sorry, that's one. It was underneath my piece of paper. No, that's fine. It's fine. It's not very. Yeah, I figured you would have armor. A ranger probably would. Um, if you have a shield, that gives you an extra plus one. Forest people wear leather. Yeah. I have um, leather and do you have armor? too. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. You also. Doesn't matter because I'm a wolf. Yeah, because you're a wolf. So that's my current armor. Great. So, uh, w- wolves. Um, do you want the bear to help her? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you will add the bear's ferocity to whatever she's doing. Okay. So, um, oh, great. Yeah, so which means you can't use it for whatever you're doing, but that's okay. fine. But it's helping. It's helping your attack. All right. Okay. So yeah. the ogres basically hit him with the club. Yeah. Or- and I just get him again. Him. Oh, and you also you you did succeed in your roll, right? You rolled a seven. Yeah. So you still will do damage. So ro- so roll your roll your damage. Eight. Oh wow, that's nice. pretty good. Um, sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, you were able to get a good uh, uh, cut into one of the ogres. You're, you're able to like uh, cut through its uh, kind of almost uh, stony, leathery, wooden flesh. Like it's weird. Uh, not really organic, but very organic sort of stuff. Okay. Um, so eight points of damage? Sure. Yes. All right. Great. Uh, all right, Wolves, what are you doing? Uh, so as soon as I see that, uh, I'm going to howl, mm-hmm. and which signals all of the wolves. <coughs> yes, just similar, but like way cooler. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And all of the wolves uh, attack. Good. So which ogre did you want to attack? Can I not go for both of them? Um, yeah, sure, you can go for both of them. Uh, why don't you, you used one of your like... holds to, to summon the pack, right? Mm-hmm. So if you want to do both of them, we'll use your other two holds. Both holds? Yeah. That means I stop being a wolf after this attack. That is correct. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're attacking both of them. All right. With um, the bear! Right. Uh, um... I don't think you really need to make a roll. You've got a, a wolf pack <laughs> and a bear. I mean, that's pretty overwhelming. Yeah, they they basically just uh, tear these things apart. Like, yeah, the wolves just like a tide uh, overcome these ogres, and they're you know, and they're and they're gone. They're torn apart. Uh, pieces of them are, are strewn all over the place. 
Slow down, Bon Yin. Let him have one other go at the paladin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you turn back My back into not Bon Yin. Back <laughs> into <laughs> bon 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 form. Bon Yin. Yeah. That's any so of the wolves cool. injured? Uh, are any of the wolves injured? Yeah. Um, not really. <laughs> now <laughs> they had overwhelming numbers. Uh, and Bastion's yeah. okay too, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Right. So afterwards, I immediately turn back into mm -hmm. me. Um, I'll say that I had like some cuts and bruises, and they're just gone. It's amazing. Uh -huh. Um, and the wolf pack disperses into the woods before they do. Oh, okay. I just kind of like take a minute, and I'm just sort of. I'm just thanking them for being there. And then like, you know, thanking the great spirit for being with us mm -hmm. and apologizing for taking their life because they did. Okay. Yeah, they nuzzle up against you and uh, you know, as much as wolves will, but yeah, and uh, then they, they slink off into the woods. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and Bastion like is, t they're totally accepting of him. It's like he's, he's the 13th wolf. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. All right. So uh, you cross this bridge. No one knows who built it. It was built like in ancient times, probably by an, another group of druids, like long, long ago. Because it leads to like it's surrounded. This part of the the woods is surrounded by um, ravines, and uh, at the bottom of the ravines, there's like a, a rushing river. So it's almost like an island in the middle of the of the forest, kind of. Is um, this a stone bridge, or, or is it? It is a stone bridge. Okay. Yeah, it is. A, it's it is very a, ancient. Yeah, it's very ancient. It's like if if Stonehenge was a bridge, kind of. Um, there, and there are like you know, uh, runes. Um, yeah, there are. There's like yeah, mark, markings on it, and it's it's really really old. Um, and it leads to you know a temple at the heart of the forest. Um, as you cross the bridge, it seems as if the skies darken, and. Uh, the weather doesn't like overtly change, but it almost seems like the sun is less bright, and and it there's a it's colder, um, and uh, yeah, there's a there's definitely a sense of of um, foreboding and darkness on the other side. Uh, the trees here seem to be um, uh, like a bit twisted and and not natural, um, or, or mutated or wrong in some way. This um, feels like how it felt like when we faced Agronok. Yeah, and you feel like you're being watched. Um, so in the middle of the, on top of this island, there's almost a, a you know, like a, a very tall grove of these these ancient trees. Uh, that you know, there's like a circle of trees in the middle of it, and then there is actually a temple, a uh, hill um, that you can enter uh, that leads to um, chambers below. There's a hill we can enter. It leads to chambers below. <laughs> Does this place normally look like this? No. It's been corrupted. Yeah, <laughs> this, guy, this guy's intelligence is eight. So. I told you he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe this is a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel it? <laughs> um, uh, I, I can't now. I don't know what to do. I check a rock at you again. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Not at her. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So, are we going to the chambers below through that entrance? We can. Well, now you're kind of outside of the grove of trees. You haven't even entered it yet, so. But that's where we're headed. Yeah. Or do we we'll go up to the temple itself? <laughs> the the chambers below the hill and the chambers below that is the temple. That is the temple. I see. Yeah. The, there is no the stone structure. The temple is like a natural. Oh, I see. Um, a hillock that's being hollowed out or something. Sure. Uh, Thief, you have like a, a a trap ability, right? What is your what is your trap ability there? But I just walk up to the temple. Okay, well, oh, um, you don't walk up to. I thought the temple was in. The, the temple is the hill. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just hold you back. Stop it. Why Stop. I, Actually, he already just kind of walked up to it, so maybe we won't have you roll to to determine oh God. traps because. Uh, uh, when I spend a moment to survey a dangerous area, mm -hmm. roll. Yeah. Uh, spend hold one for one as you walk through the air to ask these questions. Is there a trap here? And if so, what activates it? What does the trap do when activated? What else is hidden here? Right. Well, yeah, you're not really going to get a chance to do that because the paladin's um, off on his own ahead. Yeah. So the paladin walks uh, towards the. Um, uh, so does he defy danger then? 
Uh, not really. He's just kind of walking directly into danger. Um, there's no, there's no specific danger at this point. Bloody um, <laughs> So, uh, the vines on the forest floor, uh, grow up and, like, wrap all around you, and they, and they pull you to the ground. Um, and they, and they have, like, thorns growing out that are sticking into you. Uh, okay. you're gonna take, um, a die ten. Ooh. Plus one. Seven. The plus armor one. Help. With it does, plus. yeah. So, so five. So okay. yeah, so just seven. Well, yeah, just five. Yeah, because you, yeah. So yeah, but and you're also you can't move. Like these things, like wrap the like wrapped you up. Um, okay. And you can see that there is like. Uh, I shout, watch out for the vines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. We didn't see that. Great. So uh, these vines are covering the forest floor all around the um, all around the temple. So the if hill. we just left him there. <laughs> <laughs> That would be. I yeah, vote. I gain. <laughs> so I have. They I have will a, kill him. Um, You've seen these type of vines before, but yeah. I have a short sword, and um, I feel like I'm gonna come in and rescue you again, yeah. even though you're ungrateful. You, all right, but don't like step, because the vines will get you. Is the, the you, you can't right. just walk up and then. Um, can I be live? Uh, maybe, yeah. We'll make a roll. So you're gonna try to go up and kind of cut him free. Yeah. Is that your plan? I want to, I want to, like, nimbly jump in there and barely touch the ground. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna parkour her way to the yes. yeah. yeah. All yes. right. Nice. Uh, that's, that's what I want to do. Good. Yeah, you're gonna have to still walk on the ground because there's no, um, you can't like hang from anything. Like this is basically a clearing in the middle of this grove. Uh, but you can try to avoid the vines and get down there to him so you can cut him free. Okay. So I would make a dex roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, which is basically like a finesse attack. You're you're attacking. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So roll two d six and uh, add your dex bonus. You're you're really you got a pretty good dex. Um, right? Yeah. Plus, I'm quite plus dexterous. two. Yeah. Plus two. Three, five. Mm, okay. Mm. Unfortunately, not dexterous enough. Uh, these things are very quick, and uh, as you kind of like, like, kind of jump around, um, you see that they're they're more pervasive than you thought they were, and they they start to wrap up around your legs, and they pull you down as well. So you're gonna take a die ten plus one of damage um, as these things uh, grab you. So go ahead and make a roll. So nine. So nine. So it'd be plus, plus one, one, but you have armor, so it's just nine points nine. of damage. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And you're all fully healed, so if you hadn't been healed since the right. last time we had an adventure, you should be up to four hit points. But, uh, so this is, yeah, so you'll, what is your total hit points? You're at 17. So now you're at eight. Wait. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> math. Maths. We're all, Yay, all math. Yay, math. <laughs> um... I would like to try to spout lore, actually, before anyone else does anything with these terrible vines. All right, uh, go ahead. Uh, and, and they're sort of like, oh, I'm so familiar with these because I live in the forest. <laughs> sure, and sure. I know all the things. And if you guys had just, you know, not walked straight into them, I could have told you um, my extensive, extensive knowledge, which is, is that wisdom? Intelligence? Um... Spout lore, I believe, is intelligence. Eight. Uh, and what does it say under spout lore for for an eight? I believe you gotta maybe ask a question, or what? Is it, what does it say? No, on it's... seven to nine, the GM will only tell you something interesting. It's on you to make it useful. Um, and the GM might ask you, "How do you know this?" Tell them the truth. <laughs> <laughs> tell me the truth. Oh, I made it up. <laughs> How do you know this interesting thing I'm about to tell you? Um, I'm eleven. Of Forest, and I'm connected to the great forest spirit. It's yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'll take it. That checks out. It's yeah. the truth! Uh, so, yeah, uh, these are uh, assassin vines, um, although these ones are particularly uh, robust because obviously the power of the demon has infested them. Mm -hmm. um, so they are, they do occur naturally in the forest, but they're not like as, as, as pervasive as this. Um, and... Uh, you know that, um, like most of the things in the forest, they are probably afraid of fire. Um, 
Oh, okay, good. Hey. Yeah. We have a pyromancer with her. Harry, oh, yeah. these are assassin vines. I've never seen them react this strongly, though. They obviously have been corrupted by you. However, I do not think they like fire. Gorlock, a knowing Gorlock's wizard. Gorlock's like, yes! <laughs> Finally, <laughs> this is my jam. He doesn't say that, but... Uh, so yeah, he, my he, head cannon. He does. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so he like creates fire in both of his hands, and he like kind of like it kind of sputters out, and he like he like moves towards him, and the vines like move away from him as he moves forward, um, and uh, he gets close to you. You're a bit farther back than the paladin is, and he's he's like, how do I uh, help her without being singed? I, I'm gonna need some help. Someone else needs to cut her free. Okay. All right. I, I don't have a knife. I have some. I don't have a knife. No, I have a staff as my weapon. I have some throwing daggers and like, what do you eat with daggers. Your... You can you eat with your staff. You do you feel like you might be able to use magic missile to shoot the vines off of him. Yeah, so yeah. That you, you feel like you off of her, it. off of her, or off of the paladin. Yeah, I'm gonna choose her first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank uh, Gabriel, that hold out. still. All right, make a cast uh, a spell casting roll. Uh, I shout from where I am. Are you guys watching Seven. out for the vines? Seven. <laughs> if I'm too still, can you see me still? Where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> I can still see you. <laughs> yes, I can if see you. If you want to be seen, no. I'm assuming you okay. need to be seen. Yeah. So would you roll seven? Seven. So you have to decide one of the, the penalties oh, of spellcasting. Right. Yeah. Either you forget magic missile, yeah, just enemies. or no, you're minus one to spellcasting going forward, so or I right think now, there's something so. else there. What does it say under cast a spell? Uh, it is the move that you have. Draw unwelcome attention. Draw unwelcome attention. Take minus one on casting uh, after his cast. I think um, I'm gonna have to go with minus one on spell casting until the next time I prepare spells. All right, because I think we're gonna need magic missile again. Yeah. Okay. My hands glow white, and the missiles come off my fingers. Bring the vines free of the Is it like really Is it like really Good. cheap special effects? Yes, I'm, I'm the cheap special effects <laughs> yeah. character, yes. It, it, it's, just, it's like it's someone like scratched the film. Yeah. It's like someone scratched the film to make the special effect. Yeah. So uh, how much damage do you do? I do 2d4 to it. Right. Uh, there's Drum one d4. Uh, there's another d4. I do four. All right. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> uh, good. So you are, you are now, that sound. Right. Yes, you actually, are, they do. You are now free, and you can kind of uh, nestle up next to the pyromancer because the vines are not coming near him because he's got fire coming out of his okay, hands. So I'm going to nestle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 all right. What's nestle? Oh, she's got yeah. a thing for the pyromancer. N nuzzle, right? Yeah. Oh, nuzzle. Nuzzle. I don't know. Get close to the pyromancer. Okay. Well, it's. Uh, um, so, uh, you're still being attacked, so you're going to take another die 10, uh, plus one. It's three points. Okay. How are you doing over there? Uh, I, I've got 25 hit points, so I'm down 13. Okay. Is Bastion following you? I don't know what's happened to Bastion. No, Bastion was, Bastion's uh, scary. kind of he's didn't get... with the wolves. He did, no, he's still with you. He just okay. didn't get trapped in the vines because he didn't, like, want to walk into the vines with you. Like as you kind of jumped in, he was like, he's smart enough to go like, oh, that's her thing. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> nimble is not my thing. I just meant now that she's free and nuzzling behind the pyromancer is Bastion nuzzling. also. No, Bastion is is at the edge of the vines, kind of like, you know, wordly going like, Woo! How is that? What, what, what does the bear sound like? It's like, raw. Yeah, it's like, raw. Uh, he's, like, he's like, you know, like he's, he's concerned about you. Okay. You know, like the bear version of a dog going, yeah, yeah, it's going. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, great. Uh, so you're gonna try to cut out um, uh, Paladin over here, I guess. Uh, can he? The can he not use fire to get close to him? I mean, he can, but he, you will take fire damage if he burns the vines off of you. I'll try breaking free. Can I? Yeah, sure. Make a oh, make a strength roll. <laughs> You guys really don't want to help him. <laughs> <laughs> he, won't, he won't help himself. Uh, gosh, a seven. All right. Um, uh, you are able to break free, but the vines uh, have your glaive, oh. um, and uh, they uh, they wrap it and they kind of snap it in half. <gasps> Good work, Paladin. But yeah, you've broken free. Good work, Paladin. Yeah. 
Um, so the rest of you, you're able to like stick close to the pyromancer, and he he walks you back. So you're now kind of back at the edge of the vines with everybody else. Jesus, you mean back to where? Where everybody is. You're all gathered as a party at the edge outside of the vines. Of yeah, outside of the vines. I uh, go to Edrell and I say, "Thank you for the effort." <laughs> ah! And um, <laughs> may I touch you? Innocently, <laughs> platonically. <laughs> You can touch my hand. Yes. And I'm going to lay hands. Okay. Okay. And then I have the Hospitalier, uh, Hospitaler uh, advanced move for level two. So it, 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 when I heal an ally, I also get a D8 of uh, healing for myself. Great. So let me, let me do that. There um, is no selfless act. Yeah. I mean, there's also a lot of things like if any of you have band aids or bandages or um, I um, band -aid medical is a kits, trademark. like you can. Um, do you have to roll for laying on of hands? Uh, yeah, because it says on a pl ten plus you deal you heal one d eight of damage or remove one disease. So I rolled a you, I rolled yeah a, you rolled a ten. So I rolled a good. ten. So yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, and I, you can roll the d eight if you want to see how much damage. Yeah, so you get a d eight of damage healed basically. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you got one. Oh, nice. Eight. Nice. Nice. So you're okay. back up to full, I believe, right? No, no you 16. took nine. So. Um, and then I'll roll a d8 for the healing I do. Yeah. Right. For myself. For yourself. Another eight. Wow. Nice. That's some uh, nice. some real good healing there. What are you at? I'm just down five now. So. One, two, three. He's at 20. Uh, I'm not going to waste a healing potion on that. Yeah, healing potions are more for in the middle of combat, but like if you have medical supplies or bandages, I think it's medical supplies, but there's things you can do to just automatically get like, like if you bandage someone up and get like, give them four hit points back, you can't do that in the middle of combat. I right? have um, Yeah, I have yeah, herbs will also do, I think. Yeah. And so I think I may have a kit of bandages and... Um, if it doesn't say bandages, like antitoxin is a specific thing. That right, but I would think, you know, when I bought the antitoxins, I go, oh yeah, throw some bandages as well. Listen, if it's not on your list. You know. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. You should have um, bought some. I'm pretty the town. sure when I bought this sword, they just threw in some daggers. <laughs> yeah. So I'm pretty sure when I, when I bought this shield, they gave me like a whole box of magic scrolls and potions. I mean, I feel like that's pretty <laughs> standard, isn't but it? But not bandages really when I'm buying antitoxins. No bandages. I see. I get my whatever. I, you know, I'm never shopping there again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can can I let's, let's search for a club, like a piece of wood on the ground that I can use as a club? Uh, sure. Um, you also have this hammer. Yeah. Just you know, pointing out. Yeah, there's a club. Sure, okay. you can find a club. Yeah. All right. So you have a club. Great. Um. All right. It was important to killing the other demon, or banishing the other demon. You should keep it close. So I have my new glaive now. That's a club. It's a stump it's of a tree. It's a stick. <laughs> it's a little bit of a twig. <laughs> Thicker than a twig. Good. Uh, you will be minus one on attack rolls with the club because it's not really, it's yeah. not balanced well for combat, but... But your uh, hammer is. <laughs> 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 I take a rock and I check it at you. <laughs> There's a clear pecking order developing over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Siblings. <laughs> um, uh, an elven, they are not. Good. So the pyromancer is I'm now able to kind of, human. if you all gather close to him, he's able to uh -huh. use his flames to kind of move the vines there. so you can walk through um, un <clears throat> unattacked um, and get to the entrance uh, to the temple. Now the entrance is a huge um, kind of um, almost uh, mouth-like hole um, uh, that leads into this rather large hill in the center of the of the clearing, and it smells like there's a horrible stench coming out of it, like an abattoir. Like it's oh. it's like this. It, there there is, uh, and and the darkness uh, yawns, and you feel like a, a chill, uh, just uh, of air blasting out of this thing. It's it's continuous, like continuously, like like it's just breathing out foulness and stench and cold. This is what I know of the demon. That is demon breath. How, how, how would you know? How when close, I was how facing, close have you gotten to a demon? When, was, when we were trying to banish the other demon. Enough to smell his breath. Enough to smell his breath. It's smellable from thousands of yards away. So we could still be thousands of yards away. I don't know how deep this temple is. Yeah, exactly how many yards away would oh it be? Gosh. I didn't have a yardstick with me, but... 
Could you breathe into it and shut the door and then, like, fire it off? I mean, are you sure it's not your breath? Listen, I was there too. All right, then. Yes, but this is an open cave. I feel like we're close. Or thousands of yards. Or thousands of yards. That's pretty close. Well, it's it's thousand seems not far. that close. Yeah, not really. It's like miles away. <laughs> <laughs> From my experience, a thousand yards is miles. From my thousands of yards could very easily be miles. Yeah. You how many s- yard, How many miles uh, yards in a mile? Four thousand. Well, how many you thousands? What? You said, what? You said thousand. You said thousands. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to get this cleared up before we go any further. Five thousand two hundred eighty divided by three. <laughs> That's not four thousand. I was there as well. What is it? The smell indicates he's relatively close. So not thousands. Within no. thousands of yards. No. I mean, technically, yes, but it's much closer. Than unspecified number of thousands Correct. of miles. Correct. It's closer yeah, than give that. Give me like 100,000 yards. That's a lot. I'd say what it is. This is my guess, all right? If we were to stack each other on top, like, lengthwise, it's that far apart. I can't believe believe we're talking about yards. (laughs) Um, uh... Wait, I I walk up to the entrance of the cave, Uh and I go... Does anyone want to go in first this time? (laughs) I know you. We, if we were to stack each other up lengthways, that's how far. That's, that's, that's like, how far the demon is away. But that's really close. That's very close. Right? But that's like we ten be yards. Able to see it. That's what I'm telling you. Is there a demon ten yards from us? Is your chest tattoo telling you? Yes. Is it glowing or anything? Yeah. What do you know? I just feel something. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I can say it's within thousands of yards, but. Suddenly, she feels something. Um, it's fine. No one, uh, no one has an issue with that. Jill, you you um, you don't feel necessarily anything in particular, but you do have a sense. If you wanted to, you could open yourself up to it and see if you can get more information. But you would have to kind of open yourself up. To do it. it. Do oh. it. All right. I think it's a bad idea. All right. Uh, make a wisdom roll. Is that Best thing you could have done. Can I show my yes. dice from your, Rome? Your Roman dice. Yeah. And in dice, use Roman, no, Rome, I don't know. Italians only seven. use those dice. Plus, Plus wisdom, <laughs> zero, seven. Seven. All right. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, so you open yourself up to it, and uh, she kind of like Is that the face out. you're making while you're yeah. doing it? <laughs> <laughs> It's so fraught. <laughs> like I'm looking at the monitor now. <laughs> um, you kind of go, you kind of go into, <laughs> you kind of go into a trance, and uh, you you seem to be standing in the same place, uh, but there's no one with you, and it seems like it's nighttime and it's colder, um, and and you feel compelled to walk into the. Um, uh, into the mouth of the of the cave. You don't specifically remember the path you take, but you know that you're traveling through uh, some rooms and passages, and you are in a deeper chamber um, that is beneath the hill. Uh, you see uh, in this chamber what appears to be like a, a Stonehenge-like formation um, uh, of you know structure that is built basically underneath the, the hill, deep underground. Um, How many and yards away is it? <laughs> you do get a sense for how far it is. Like it's it's. Uh, <laughs> Wind is so loud. <laughs> yeah, um, but you don't know the specifics between you know there and here. Um, in the center of it, you see a uh, a wizened old uh, woman, uh, and uh, she just uh, she's just kind of sitting there staring at you. Can I speak? Yeah. Hello? Hello. Hello, hello. We're not doing that. (laughs) I'm looking uh, for a demon. (laughs) (laughs) 
looks like you're in Costco. <laughs> Is there, you're in the wrong aisle. You need to go to the <laughs> uh, It's bulk. I'm looking for bulk demons. <laughs> Six pack of demons. <laughs> Thank you. I'm opening the way. Oh. <laughs> to what? Uh, exactly. you have given us. Uh, can you be more specific? You will be rewarded, Hillcrest. Do, do you know me? I know you by your real name, which you do not know. Listen, if mine, I don't, I, I've named myself. That's it. What? Okay, can we destroy this demon now? Who, who are you, by the way? Do you have a name? I am Zornad. But you look, oh, Zornad's a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great. I apologize for calling you an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I and my siblings, we welcome you among our number. Thanks, but no thanks. And we thank you. No, no, thank you. You will eventually see the light. Great, but for now... And the darkness. Okay. Uh, so how far are you from where my friends are? Can we... Um, <laughs> in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can you yeah. specify? I wait for you here. Bring them. Sacrifice them. And you will have limitless power. Oh. How about jewels? She, like... like raises her hands and you see that there's treasure, uh, more treasure than you could possibly imagine all around her. There's jewels, there's gold, there's crowns. This is going to be a short um, campaign. <laughs> 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 that would be great. <laughs> all of this can be yours. And all I have to do is bring my, my cohorts in here? <laughs> I wait for you. And you like wake up and you're standing there. Everyone's kind of staring at you disturbed, with disturbed expressions on their faces. Did you find out the specific yardage? Yes, <laughs> how far? <laughs> uh, within oh. thousands of yards. Uh, hey guys, it seemed pretty cool in there. So should we go inside? It seemed pretty cool in there? I mean, I'm... Like, everything's fine in there. Yeah. There's no demon well, at the heart of this temple. Are you temple. saying you've seen inside of there from here? Uh, yeah, my fun little doodad. Yeah, and from your point of view, she kind of went into a transfer bit, and you did see a slight glow to the uh, the scar on her. Um, your so. tattoo is less faded. It's not a tattoo, it's a scar. Wait, your scar's less faded. Put more mud on it. You communed with the darkness below. Didn't you? Didn't you? Are you a cohort? I'm not a cohort. I don't. I, they. Uh, bad. What they is see. that? Uh, yes. Okay. I saw the demon. Guess what? Good news. It's a female. So. Great. Is that got to do with a slice of bread? Is it anything less than a demon? Uh, no. It's still a demon. How is it being? How does its gender matter? I don't know. I just feel like there's. It's great that there's more females. Being mm -hmm. represented by demons. Yes. <laughs> Cool. Great. Yeah. Um, I'm all for the equal representation, but um, it's still listen, a demon. Listen, okay. Any one of you, let's say, want to sacrifice yourself so that I can have lots of power and jewel. Okay, so when you said, hey, it's cool in there, it was so we would die. Well, the... Uh, and you could get jewels. Well, the atmosphere was interesting. Oh, the temperature. You were talking the temperature. Uh, the jewels. Ugh. Listen, I'm not a demon, so I don't want to go in there and sacrifice you. I do want the jewels, but it's not safe in there, okay? Go at your own risk. You're not coming with us? Are, are you not coming with us? Well, I could come with you, but I'm saying if uh, it's very dangerous. But not for you. They want me to come in and join them, but you know I won't. So, but I, one of you, if one of you sacrifices yourself and dies, I will probably become one of them. 
So just warning you. Just warning you. With just you, Goose and Cool. Hmm. That's an idea. Uh so you're sacrificing yourself? Well, I don't know. You or the jewels for the rest of us. Yeah, well I'd be sacrificing myself for you guys. Oh, look at me, I'm being nice. I look at the hammer. <clears throat> you Anything special happening with it? Um I mean, in your dream, it kind of had a glow to it, and it just seems um, like a regular hammer, you okay. know what I mean? But, like, you personally have a feeling of, like, it feels right in your hand, like, yeah. it just, it, but it's it's just a feeling that you have. Um, yeah. Okay. You can turn him invisible. No, I can turn her invisible. No, but I can camouflage. Oh, she, she's not moving. She's not moving. Oh, but you've got loot on me. I mean, I could go in and then not move. <laughs> but then... <laughs> I if asked. someone carries you in and you hold still... <laughs> no, so it, doesn't, much it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I asked if we could destroy her. She didn't tell me. Yeah, she didn't tell you how to destroy her. No. Yeah. Did you ask? I meant to if I didn't. Um, oh, good. Anyway, listen. That's the rule, okay? She's pretty close and dangerous. If one of you dies, I get to be powerful. Just one of us? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. No, it seems that seems a fair trade-off. You well, should go. go you. you. Should go. <laughs> Why don't we send the pyromancer? He's got the most experience with demons, that's and true. it is his fault. Oh, that's the true. That's true. How would we get Probably. back out again? But you know what this means, though, is if you sacrifice yourself, yeah, guys. If one of you sacrifices yourself, I become. It really powerful and, like a demon. and then you could destroy you become the demon. a demon but then will i be like them i don't know if that's i think you'd become like them i really don't want to i don't want to i don't want to be a demon necessarily eh, it just doesn't jive with me i i don't have demon blood at all i'm pretty sure of that what did this what did what did she look like like if i were really old Really so she looked like you? A little bit. Uh, but I think everybody looks like me, so. Uh, do we look like you? Like, no. Not so do much. I look like you? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now is probably a good time for us to take a break. Well, we've all agreed the wizard's going in. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to become a demon. I, I'm the wizard, well. why am I going in? Or this wizard? I, I don't want to become a demon. I'm not going in there by myself. No, you don't go in there because I don't want to become a demon. If you die, there are things are going to happen to me that I'm not really into. So we should concoct a plan yes. whereby no one dies. Correct. I like that except one. Except the demon. Yes. Who suspiciously looks like a granny version of you. Weird. Mm -hmm. Weird. I. That's weird. That's very weird. Yes. That is how it goes. They also said they know my real name. <laughs> What's your real name? I don't. The Tillcrest, as far as I know. I've never been called anything else. You're wrapped up in all this. Not on purpose. You're keeping a secret from us. The wizard randomly turned into like a newspaper man from the 40s. <laughs> You're wrapped up in this, I tell ya. <laughs> yeah, prove it. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> I got facts and figures, numbers and scrolls. Do you have? <laughs> City Hall and we'll... All right, all right. On that note, uh, we're going to take a short break, uh, and then we'll be back. We'll see what happens uh, with Hillcrest. Break time!
And we're back to Dungeon World with the unreliable narrator. That's us. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was a good break. Uh, so yeah, you're outside of the um, outside of the temple, the corrupted temple, and uh, you're deciding what to do. How many um, yards away from? All right, all right. From the Listen, <laughs> you're literally on the threshold of this giant, yawning, cold, smelly portal. So. All right, I've decided. I don't want to go full demon. Okay. No, we like that. <laughs> Never go full demon. <laughs> <laughs> we can try to destroy this demon. Yes. I'm not sure how, but if one of you dies, that's going to screw me over and I become demon. The way you look at it, maybe it'll be a good thing in the end, but I'd rather not risk it. We'll never know until we try. Uh, but I don't know how to... I feel like... <laughs> so that's where we stand. I would like everybody's opinion. So you think if one of us dies, then uh, then you will become a demon. you'll become a demon? And yes. Usually, you have to sacrifice someone to to fulfill a pact. You have to knowingly sacrifice. Oh, them. really? Usually. Oh, wait. But I don't know. The rules don't seem to apply to you. I know. And it's some kind of ritual, I imagine. No, you just have to say I sacrifice them and stab them. You know. Oh. Or I don't really want to stab. Crush anything. them under rocks or burn them. You have Ooh, to kill them and knowingly, into a pit. All right, that knowingly good. decide that that's what you're doing. Oh, okay. That sounds... Okay, so I'm not sacrificing you guys. I just want you to know. I mean, unless you're knowingly leading us into danger. I mean, I we am. Won't, we won't survive from. That's what I'm saying. What was the exact wording of the agreement you made with your grandma demon? Mm -hmm. I didn't make your an agreement. I just, I just asked for information and then it disappeared. I didn't make any deal. They said certain words in certain order. I was in a trance. You have to be really careful with demons because you might think that you're doing what you want to do. You might think that you're following your own will, but they oh. twist your words. They trick you into getting what they want. So demons can we just tricky. leave and let this demon live in this cave? No! It's not an option. The heart of the forest is corrupted and it smells okay. terrible. It does. <laughs> All right. These things killed my entire cabal. They killed my, my mentor. Aware. They killed I mean, every, everybody I knew. Sort of deserved it. That's like saying we jumped into a shark tank and the sharks ate us. It was terrible. We? we I mean, that's yeah. a good metaphor. Yeah, that's a good metaphor. Yeah, she's not wrong. What's a shark? That's it's a sea creature with pointy teeth. It's like a demon of the ocean. No, it's, oh. like, an, it's oh. like an animal of the ocean. Yes, I think they've been demonized well, enough. They're sharks not real are really demons. misunderstood. Yes. Actually. They're hungry. Yeah. They're just hungry creatures. So are demons, like... but on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, maybe there's Good. something more to be understood about these demons. Oh, that's true. Maybe I could just go in back in and say, listen, what can we do to exist? And How do we coexist? Yeah. She'll, she'll say subjugate to my will, and you will be fine. So are you saying it's possible that what that you misunderstood the demon, and you assumed the demon was asking you to sacrifice our lives, but maybe they, they weren't? Just if if I could sacrifice, and then I become demon is how I understood it. That sounds about right. Okay. Right. But it also sounded like she seemed like it was pretty inevitable that you were going to be a demon anyway. Like she was just expecting you to join. They're waiting for you. So, well, is this Joseph talking with the wizard? That's um, the voices are very similar. This is the wizard. This is Joseph. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The wizard is like. What about this. the squirrel? All right. I need to make it more. Hill on the so I would also like, like everybody to help prevent me. <laughs> help me, if you don't mind. Just let's figure something out so I don't become demon. I don't know how that would happen. I'm not demon. That you know of. Hmm. Correct. You're keeping something from me. I think you know something about an ancestor. Uncle Ted, but I think he was just, uh, he hit his head. <laughs> and he had those two bumps. Because <laughs> <laughs> he hit his head twice. In like equidistant sort of spots. <laughs> yeah, kind of never got he had like know. an extended tailbone that ended in a, you know. <laughs> point. I don't even and think he was my like real <laughs> uncle. It was just somebody that everybody just said, hey, Uncle Ted. Yep. All right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> slept in the same bed with my mom. You know. That's disgusting. Oh. Right. So, what? <laughs> you went in a trance, learned nothing helpful. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, except that there is, in fact, a demon. That looks like her as an old woman. In the air. Um, you, okay, the paladin has walked inside. Oh, good. <laughs> and he's like, it, it's like as he steps over the threshold, it's almost like he disappears. Like the darkness is so complete that it like envelops him. If he dies, you're becoming a demon. <laughs> we have to go after the idiot. How did you kill the last one? Gorlack follows him. That's fine. With the hammer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got the hammer. Gorlack? The hammer yeah. Oh, yeah. killed him last time. Um, yeah, he, Both Garlock uh, and I went into the pentagram and cast spells against the demon to banish it. I thought the hammer had something to do with it. And then... I'm not there anymore. Oh, there. you used a protection pentagram. Yes. I had the hammer, Ooh. yeah. A PP. We should have done that and then lure the demon out here. I didn't... Oh, did I... It's too late. They're both gone. Great. We must go after them. Who did the protection pentagram? You, yeah? No, it was yeah, Garlock. Garlock. Oh, fuck. Right. Well, did he it. didn't suggest it. That's true. Well, I, I guess we're going in. I will, um, can you do things, anything helpful? Probably not. <laughs> but I can I survey. I can make someone invisible. <laughs> I can survey the area. I can detect magic. I'm sure there's magic here. Yeah? You can make someone invisible. I that can make someone invisible. helpful. Who would like to be invisible? Until they attack. Just turn into a human, so or an uh, animal. So you you want just me turn to into a human. You're not really human. I knew it. I'm not. I'm an elf. Trap? Can I look for a trap? Uh, you, you can't can see the ears outside of the. I mean, once you go inside, right? I you don't see any out here. I mean, oh. the but trap was inside. binds, and you didn't oh. find it. Well, the barrel isn't locked in. So, so, so you're gonna step inside. Of you, of you three, which is best to be invisible? All right. So you see the paladin, and you see Gorlock. Gorlock is uh, two because she's gone. Staff has like a flame at the end of it, so that there's light. Um, and uh, it's like a magical flame that's giving light to the room. Club hammer. Why do you make me invisible? Okay, you have a club you, in one hand and a hammer in the other. All right. Um, so you, this is a, this is a, um, it looks like a, uh, like a, a, a passageway burrowed into the earth. Uh, and, uh, the floor is, uh, though, is, uh, uh, like paving stones that have been, you know, placed down, uh, on the ground. And it leads, uh, kind of downward in a downward slope, uh, into the earth. Uh, you can also see like the the ceiling of this has like vines um, and plant life like kind of growing along it. Um, not like the vines from out there, but just you know, uh, it's kind of that that is the ceiling is like a, a odd, odd this odd plant like growth. There's no trees above, but it's almost like roots. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. All right, I will make the ranger invisible, casting a spell three. Did you want one? Well, also minus one, remember, because you have minus one ongoing. Okay, so three. <laughs> I don't know how invisible you are. I don't think you're invisible, actually. Her hands, one of her fingers. Backfires, you can't see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is invisible to you. Oh, no. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, there's a, a bit of a backfire. You're going to take a point of damage. <laughs> and, ah! uh, yeah, magic's chaotic, and you're going to forget that spell. Yeah. Oh. oh no! So what's happened to me? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Great. Well done. M. M. Gorlock's like. I'm trying to think the best animal to turn into. That's you're insane. already in the cave, Garlock. You didn't see that. Oh. I thought you were all. I thought you all were already in the cave. Yeah, I thought we all hence, were in the cave. Hence, we put wizard in quotes. Yeah. I tell yeah. Garlock. <laughs> we're all in the cave. <laughs> all right. You're all in the cave now? Now we're in the cave. Okay. Uh, Ow. What should I turn into? My hands. A parrot. That is welcome in a cave. But is it helpful? It's not the word, but I thought about it. It's not too helpful. Well, pigeons are So were you just helpful. standing outside the, the cave, like, like talking to yourself? <laughs> What do I turn into? <laughs> no one walked down with that. Okay. It's open All right, discourse. go ahead and make your do your check for traps thing. Okay, so that's two of these guys. Mm-hmm. Five. Plus, Plus your dexterity, I believe. Two. So seven. So if you get a seven on the uh, looking for traps, what does it say? On the hold, hold one. one. Right, so you got to choose one of those things. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, is there a trap here? And if so, what activates the... But that's. But I have to ask these three questions. One I, of them. Oh, I can only one, one, one of the questions. Okay. All right. 
Is there a trap? And if so, what activates it? Uh, yes, there is a trap. Some of the paving stones are actually uh, pressure sensitive, and they will activate, you, you believe, whatever this trap is. Guy, stop where you are, okay? <laughs> I'm a thief. Where do we you all real go? Shush. She's here, you <laughs> dummy. Okay, <laughs> don't step on these stone thingies, okay? I've turned into a bot. Perfect. <laughs> Did you make the roll? All right, what'd you roll? Ten. Okay, so that's hold three, right? Eight yeah. plus two, five, ten. All right. I wish I'd seen Just that. <laughs> don't step on these. If we can kind of get around them. Yeah, only some of them are. Yeah, you but can we determine. don't know which can you, one. Can do you we? tell which ones? Um, um, have you looked past your side? Yeah, I think Bastion is still outside. Can you leave him outside? Okay. Can I tell which ones are? Uh, what does it say? It's uh, you, would you roll like a seven? Nah, you're not sure. You just know some of them are. Yeah, I'm not sure, guys. I just maybe we throw something on each of them to activate the trap. Yeah. Uh, Gor- Gorlock just starts poking the things ahead of him with the staff, um, and moving forward and poking. <laughs> um, I do that with a club. <laughs> uh, all That's right. A stick. Uh, so yeah, you're able to, you're you're able to kind of get, uh, past. None of them go down, so you assume that you, you miss them. Um, and you get to a, uh, a larger room, uh, on the far side of it there is a, a door, uh, a large wooden door, like two, you know, two, two big, uh, doors, uh, like, you know, locked together. Um, and, uh, yeah, what do you do? There, there is a gigantic like keyhole with like a, a lock of some sort. Oh, I can pick locks. Mm-hmm. All right. Tricks of the trade: when you pick locks or pockets or disable traps. We'll continue to test with our stabs all the way over to the door to make sure there's no further traps. Mm-hmm. Squeak, squeak. Mm, so plus dexterity. For the bat Eleven. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> tell us what this looks like. Like it looks like it takes a rather large key. So what do you oh, do sorry. to kind of get okay. this lock open? Do you use your dagger? How do you? I how do you enter the club. <laughs> it's a stick. <laughs> yes, I'm going to use my daggers okay. to pick through them easily because I know how to do this. Okay. okay. The door kind of like it, it uh, you know, clicks open and it like out towards us. Yeah, towards you. Um, and there, you could feel more of that cold breeze kind of coming mm. from from below, and the and the smell. Um, on the other side, uh, there's a large round room, and uh, it, there's no floor, but there is a spiral staircase leading down into the into the earth. I fly down and I sit on a uh, Hillcrest's shoulder. Just, okay. Just so you get through it. All right. Uh, I peer over the. Uh, how deep does it look? Uh, it's farther than you can see. Mm-hmm. Although it is like darker, even though you have light, it's still darker here than you would normally. You know, like the darkness seems like overly oppressive. You know? uh, is there a stone on the ground or something? Uh, sure. Yeah. You can throw your stick down there. I chuck this stone. Do I hear it fall? I mean, do I hear, hear, do I hear it hit something down below? Yeah, you hear like a click. And then you hear right. far below. What? What? I'm gonna sonar the room with my sonar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you? Uh, that's uh, one of your holds. Are you gonna fly sure. around and kind of uh, look around? I'm gonna sonar around. I'm basically blind. Well, that's what I mean. Are you gonna? You're gonna go and sonar like the whole like passageway going down? Is that what? That's what I'm asking. Uh, as much as I can without actually like going. Deep in. I don't want to like go deep. How far down? How far down are you going? What? It's just a spiral down, right? Yeah. Can I just like go bam? Okay. Mm, I mean, you're going to have to fly down there if you want to reconnoiter like more than just, you know. I want to go as far as I can with a. Until my sonar hits something. Because my sonar goes pretty far. Like thousands of yards. So you're going to go <laughs> until you until you determine where the floor of this is. Is that what I'm Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So uh, you get a sense, yeah, this goes down like uh, about uh, 100 yards till it reaches a, a level surface. Mm-hmm. Um, down there, um, there are passageways going off in various directions. Mm-hmm. You also sense that along the uh, staircase, um, uh, there are places where there are either alcoves or passages at various places, and you sense some movement um, 
either in those alcoves uh, and or down below or on the staircases. Um, uh, perhaps a, a somewhat large creature of some sort, but you can't really tell exactly what it is. It could just be, you know, uh, a cave creature or it could be uh, something worse. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Um, am I able to talk to people? As a bat? Mm-hmm. I don't think so, no. I know you guys speak bat. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, you can turn back into a human at any I time. I couldn't try to. I can only speak to my bear, can't I? Right, yeah. yeah. So and you don't, you don't really talk back and forth. You can no. just tell it what to do. Oh, but I haven't memorized it. telepathy. We're feeling each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, cuckoo, cuckoo. So it's... it's I don't... Mm. What are you trying to say, bat? That's a terrible mime. <laughs> Uh, mm. <laughs> well, okay, how about this? The bat just gave up. How the bat just gave up. I have a solution. Is if there's something terrible down there, flat to the right, if we're safe to go flat to the left. Right. Her right or our right. <laughs> <laughs> if there's something terrible, go up. Her if up there's something our, that you suggest is fine to keep going, go down. Flat down. <laughs> the bat is confused. I don't think I've, the bat speaks English. I fly English. neither up nor down. Why? Because you I, don't. Oh, because she's not sure. Maybe she's not sure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna jostle between up and down. Yeah, it's a maybe. We got to. Be You're careful. doing the bat equivalent. Of <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that wasn't helpful. Hey, I, um, we must go forward now. Gorlock, you want to head down, buddy? <laughs> I, I head down with him. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yes, I guess I and the paladin will take the point because we're the bravest ones. Super dumbest. I, I fist bump the dumbest. <laughs> Least needed, yeah. Anyways. All right, yeah, he's getting close to you anyway. He's yeah. kind of like your, in a way, not like your servant, but he, he's, you know, he's following you, so. All right, I'll follow. All right. So you're next. Staff at the ready. You behind them. Who's after that? I'm a bat. Like I, I can go whenever. I am very distrustful of this um, black hole that everyone is descending into, and um, I don't want to go in it. Mm -hmm. So. I'm staying up here and I'm surveying and I'm looking around, making sure. I feel I feel like I'm hearing something as well. There's a sound. Um, I don't know. What do you do with discern realities? Give us a. It's a basic move, discern realities. Oh, um, I believe it's wisdom. Wisdom. Yes. Yeah. So okay. go ahead, make a discern realities. Make a roll. All right. You're surveying. That's that's discerning realities. Okay. You're so, discerning those realities so hard. Okay. Oh. Ah, great. So six plus six. your wisdom bonuses. Seven. Okay. So I think that's you get a w one question, I believe, with with that. Um, right. uh, Ooh, what is it that thing? Okay. No, oh, what is about to happen? No. Yeah, also, you can ask that. I want to ask something else. Yeah, also, right. she gets a plus one when acting upon these answers. Correct. Um, what is he, what he, what what here is not what it appears to be. What am I doing before here? What are you sure valuable to me? What should I be on the lookout for? What's about to happen? All right, let's stick with that. <clears throat> Which question? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna. Uh, my question is going to be all of these questions. No, my question is which question should I ask? <laughs> my question is what is about to happen? Um, you are. Uh, you believe that your group is about to be ambushed. Okay. All this right. would be a good spot for an ambush. Yeah. You're hearing movement below. You think that an ambush is 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 going to happen here. All right. Um, and if you stay up here, you're not going to be able to help them. <sighs> Dad, damn it. All right, well, I yell at them. <laughs> and then I guess I have to follow you. 
Uh, I'm going last. Well, she's held back, so are you still at the top with yeah. her then? Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah, because I'm hesitant as well. All right, so what are you yelling? Uh, I'm calling for Bastion. Bastion That's needs a drop. to come help. All right. Um, I'm getting really uneasy. I oh. think that make a roll for Bastion because he's gonna have to run through the room with all the traps. <laughs> make a roll though. You did call for him, so. Is there any bonuses on that? Um. Uh. Probably. What are the uh, attributes of, of Bastion? Um. So he he can travel. Right, but he has, uh, uh, I believe, some numerical, like, ferocity is one of them. He's, yeah, he has... What are the three things for him? Um, his ferocity is plus three, cunning, plus one, armor, one, instinct. All right, so this would be cunning, two. so you would add your cunning, uh, his cunning, so that you rolled a six plus one, is that right? Or yeah, so seven. All right, um, uh, okay, uh, he gets to you, and it looks like there is a dart stuck in him. Aww. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and he looks like he's kind of groggy. Um, okay. Um, well, I immediately pull it out. Okay. Um, and he stands up on his hinds and growls ferociously. That hurt a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I said yeah. though, he's still like kind of groggy and disoriented. Uh, and it seems like it might be increasing. I I, um, I will turn back into a person. Okay. Um, I know. I've got. Uh, and are you at the top or are you at the bottom? I, I was on Elkrest's okay. shoulders, so I I get off her shoulders. All right. And then I turn into a person. <laughs> um, and then I pull out my my bag of herbs. Okay. And I max something up okay. for for um. Bastion. For Bastion. To, to counteract the dart. Okay, he's like, I'm blah, I'm blah. First, I obviously, I like, I make, make a big show of it where I take the dart and I smell it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and then throw it to me and then pull out different herbs and I'm, ah, mm, mm, ah, and then I like crush them together with my tiny little mortar and pestle. We're on a timetable here. And then I give it to him. Right. Okay, so you do that. Um, Caffeine. Uh, Caffeine. Uh, I would like to spout lore to learn more. Spout lore about what specifically? What's downstairs? Demons, because demon? she's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that demon blood? Uh, so if you're spouting lore... What, yeah, what are you spouting lore about specifically? You gotta be really specific. Like, I'm spouting lore about this temple, or I'm spouting lore about, you know... Demons. Uh, demons? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna see if you remember any lore about demons From, in like, a slash your family. Yeah. Well, if I remember anything from them. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. It's an intelligence. Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted. Fucking Ted. Oh! Twelve? Two, two sixes. Wow. Um, <laughs> and do you have an intelligence bonus? One. Yeah, but you rolled two sixes. What's um, the sixes mean again? Critical. Yeah, that's a critical success, basically. In in it's a home home rule. It's a it's a yeah. This is crazy that I remember some stuff, guys. <laughs> 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 this is just coming to me like now. a lot. <laughs> now there's just us ladies. Um, what's really going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I didn't tell the, you. So the earlier. dudes are off to the side, so we're just. <laughs> <laughs> You're down in a What's hole. Yeah, yeah. Two ones. Oh, okay. So I did pretty good. Yeah. Um, the only way that demons can uh, manifest in in on this side and in this reality is to possess something or uh, or someone. Um, so they can uh, they'll form a connection with an object or a person, and that allows them to kind of anchor themselves here. Um, uh, you believe that uh, probably whatever this demon is anchored to is down below. Um, and they, it might have anchored itself to the temple itself. If that's the case, you might have to destroy the, the sacred part of this temple in order to, to destroy the demon, is what you're, what you're realizing. Um, yeah. And you also realize that for some reason, you are an anchor kind of for all of these demons somehow. 
but you're not sure how. You're going to destroy me, maybe. Do you tell any of this to us? Yes. So, if we tell you? Uh, Somehow, let's destroy the part of the temple first. Guys, get out! Get out! Come on up! I, 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 I've remembered something. Can we just torch the whole place? I don't see why not. It's made of stone. Blow it up. I see why not. Blow I'm it up. Blow, With what? blow it up. Uh-huh. Do you have magical abilities that we don't know of? I, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have connections, okay? So I could put out the word for my criminal underbelly. Okay, uh, out here? Yeah, yeah. Right here. All right, uh, things are coming out of the walls um, in between, like, because you guys are partway down. They're coming out of an alcove, like a whole bunch of creatures are these, like, uh, and they're they're like kind of on like humanoid, but they're on all fours and they're they're kind of hard to see. They almost have a, a deeper darkness around them. Some of them come, are heading up towards you, and some of them are heading up down towards the group down below. So, uh, yeah. I'd like to turn into a mountain lion. All right. Come on, dice. Oh. Uh, eight. All right, so hold one. Yeah. <clears throat> you are a mountain lion. Um, great. So yeah, you see these things kind of like uh, streaming down towards you. From above. Use your Onwards. fire. Yeah, uh, the pyromancer is like you know throwing flame up at them. Use your fire. I will. But you are on like a narrow staircase, so yeah. you can you know. Yeah, get her backs against the wall and staffs. Yeah. I could try to throw a magic missile. Sure, make a roll. Eight plus two. Ten. Okay, good. So uh, roll damage. Ah. That's so hard to pick up. Or one five. Okay, uh, yeah, you knock it to a couple of them off, and they fall, you know, screaming ah! below. Uh, there's more coming out, though. Like, it's kind of a horde of these things. Um, who else wants to do anything? I want to shoot. I want to shoot. All right, make a, make a roll for a volley. Uh, so it's a dex roll. 2d6 plus dex. I'll roll of 9. Great. So roll your roll your damage, a uh, die eight. Two. All right. You you one of them like right through the neck and it like ah, falls off falls over. Um, That's not the sound an arrow makes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sound your arrow makes. Arrow makes that sound. <laughs> <laughs> Arrow sound ball. <laughs> Great. Uh, who else been gone yet? Who hasn't done Wait, something? What was you I turned into a mountain lion. I missed something. Writing something. You didn't have to write anything. Uh, no, because you got, you rolled. Oh, I did it? Yeah, you didn't have to, like, okay. if you had rolled low enough, you would have had to use up ammo or something like that or gotcha. put yourself in danger. But you rolled high enough that you just were like a perfect shot. So. Great. Great. Yeah. Lovely. Um, I mean. Hellcrest? I don't have a lot I can do. Uh, what would you do? You got a couple daggers, you're, you know. Yeah, close, so. <laughs> Call in your demon powers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a demon. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, so you're just stabbing them as they kind of get up to the top of the stairs. So go ahead and make a hack and slash roll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eight. Eight. So plus your, well, it'd be dexterity for you because you're using finesse weapons, so. Ten. Ten. Ten, great. So roll your damage. Yeah, you avoid, you definitely avoid getting hurt by them. And, uh, yeah. So I have to roll this? Yeah. This is you doing damage. So. Oh, great. Um, so, yeah, you, like, you definitely kind of avoid, you know, them hurting you. And you're like, stab, stab, stab. And you, um, uh, yeah, you, you kill, uh, you kill three of them, uh, as you're, as you're fighting. Um, are we lessening their numbers at all? You or? are lessening their numbers, yeah. You're thinning out, you're thinning out the horde. They're still coming, but, yeah, you've de you're definitely, you know, uh, lessening the horde a bit. Um, yeah, uh, Gorlak, it burns some. Can we uh, run out at this point? Are we able to, like... If you abandon you're us... You're at the top of the staircase. These guys are, like, halfway oh. down. So this horde is between you and mm -hmm, them. Mm -hmm. So strategically, you're not in a great position. You probably should not have let the party get split up like this. 
Um, Let the party get split. <laughs> yeah, you probably all stick together. All right, Paladin, what are you doing? Uh, I, um, I probably dying. can't do I am the law on these guys because they're probably not sentient. <laughs> um, yeah. Not the time for talking, Paladin. Yeah, no, I mean, they are, they probably are sentient, but you don't think, yeah, it would have much yeah, effect on them. Okay, I, I, I mean, whatever, I'll attack a slash uh, with a hammer. Okay, you can use the hammer, great. Finally, that twig. Uh, in strength, right? So yeah. that would be nine. Okay, uh, good. So you're going to take uh, a D4 um, of damage. As I take it then. Yeah, take you take damage, damage yeah. as they, because you didn't roll high enough to, uh, to avoid it. Okay. Um, and uh, you will do with the hammer two d six. Nice. Six. All right. So you also like are able to like slap three of these things down <laughs> um, the, with, with yes. your hammer. You're just like <laughs> one of them. You <laughs> smash his head against down. the wall. Uh -huh. uh, another one. You just like you swing backwards and knock him over the edge. And then the other one. You swing up and like hit him right in the you know. Can he's I be he's like. Ah! It falls over. Uh, what, what are these creatures like? Are they just, like, just shadowy looking things? Uh, they're like they're like humanoid, like uh, almost distorted humanoid shapes. They're smaller than than regular humans, okay. um, and but they're like yeah, they they they're, they're kind of hard to see because there's a darkness kind of uh, okay. surrounding them. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah, good, good, good. Um, uh, so the let's see, yeah, they so they are. Um, Kind of retreating at this point and uh, pulling back uh, into the into the alcove. Uh, some of them are like actually climbing up the wall like spiders um, away from you and, and down the other side. Yeah. Guys, guys, get up! Are you up? Come on! Hurry! Up! Up! So, uh, are we coming? Are up you, or are you, are coming? you staying separated or? No, cut up here. Paladin, are you I'm, coming? I'm up front, so it depends on what the people behind me are going to do. Let's go. Let's get the party back together. We should go down. Get, I no, think we well, go you down. go. No. Gorlek guys. says we need to go down. Listen, we can. We have to destroy the temple. Yes. Yes, it's down there. That's Let's where the go. Temple is. Okay. Come to us. I start padding down the stairs. All right. There's a metal line. Big leather paws. Metal uh, line coming down the stairs. I'm still going last. Adrian, you have a metal line and a bear with you. Bear's drunk. Not anymore. Okay, he's like, okay now? Worms, yeah. Okay. As I walk Adriel. by Jorod, I throw, I kick a stone at him. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, can I, can I dodge that? Can I try to dodge that? <laughs> sure. Sure. Defy danger. We have... Uh, oh, ten. Uh, plus my dex, uh, zero. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> ha! <laughs> I love that you mentioned your dex. <laughs> Even though it's a zero. <laughs> Plus nothing. <laughs> Thank nothing. you. <laughs> Didn't, Didn't need, need a bonus, did I? Um, good. Uh, so I'm assuming you all get to the bottom of this uh, well area, right? I'm gonna cast a cantrip on my staff of light. Okay. Which will glow with an arcane light, about as bright as a torch. It gives off no heat or sound, but requires no fuel. It is otherwise like a like, mundane torch. Like your wooden staff. I have complete control of the color of the flame, so I will make it yellow. Good. So this is a spell like any other. Yellow it's a flame. So you go ahead and make Andrew, a. You'll, it. you'll make a roll for that, Andrew. It's just like any casting any other spell. Uh, nine minus uh, plus uh, my intelligence, right? Yeah, plus your intelligence minus minus one, one so uh, ten. Great. So yeah, no problem. This one works perfectly. Wow. Not like that pesky invisibility spell that's so hard to cast. I don't apparently. remember. I don't remember it. Yeah. Well, hurts me. I just want to say, just for everyone's reference, uh, that when I turn into an animal for my sheep, everything I own becomes like, like it's still on me. It just becomes an animal version. So I'm still wearing like leather armor <laughs> and have like all the same weapons. Really? They're just like, oh. yeah. So it, when you cat, were a bat, cat, you had like a tiny little <laughs> bat armor. <laughs> it's it's my favorite part about this. It doesn't become part of your body. <laughs> um. I thought that's that was the case, but I might be wrong. It it says it becomes like a perfect copy, but for my animal form. Really? Like yeah. <laughs> that's adorable. Can you stand on your hind legs? It's a mountain lion, and you've got like. <laughs> 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 
So I probably can't use my shillelagh, but it's on me. We can take it, yeah. If I, we can I just guess so, yeah. It Look, that, that cat my... is wearing boots. It's a puss in boots. Oh, oh man. All right, um, <laughs> uh, great. One of the passages, there's like different passages leading out from this uh, area. One of them is, though, obviously larger, and you definitely feel like the darkness is emanating from that particular location. Uh, yeah. Oof. I go toward it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Gorlock stays with you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn my light red. All right. Just because I can. No, you... I'm a cat. I have better vision now. Sure. Yeah. I just... You can see in the darkness better, yeah. Do I see anything? No. Um, there is a large chamber ahead with which what looks like uh, stones in it, like some sort of standing stones in a circle. It's like a hinge. Yeah. Like a hinge. Like a hinge. Things What's like a hinge. deal with the stone hinge? <laughs> <laughs> Did promise thing. Uh, I pat ahead to the hinge with my tail flicking. Oh. I'm annoyed. Very Bob Fosse esque. <laughs> Is your cat Leo? <laughs> with the boots, the cat boots. <laughs> yeah. Um, great. So uh, you it's enter uh, a that large uh, chamber. Um, domed chamber. Um, you can see that uh, um, there's. Uh, it is dark in here, but there's a little bit of light. It's almost like someone has painted fluorescent stars um, on the on the ceiling, and it, you definitely recognize these are actual um, constellations from the night sky. So it's per- was done purposefully. In the center of this, you know, there's this uh, stone, this hinge of stone, similar to Stonehenge. Um, a little bit more uh, simple, though, than than you know, yeah, than Stonehenge is simpler um, than upright blocks with blocks on top. Yeah, there's like no, there's not as many blocks on top, and it's it's there's less stones here. Um, it's like two stones. Yeah, and <laughs> the really center circles. in the center of it there is a what appears to be a, an altar, which is like you know two blocks and then one across them um, in the very center of the. If of we the break it, Aslan will come back, right? That's yes. The, <laughs> yeah, Aslan will come back to life <laughs> if you if you break. Is that why you're a lion? <laughs> I get on the I get on that and I pose. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the sons of Adam and daughters of Eve. Right, I don't know if feel? everybody knows the reference. I for one did not. So let's explain to the viewers what you meant. You've never oh, been to Fillory? <laughs> it's not Fillory. It's I know, not. but Fillory's basically Narnia. Yeah, so it's a Narnia reference. Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. Aslan is the lion in mm. that title. Mm. And he was like, sa- his head was shaved and he was sacrificed on this tablet. Spoiler, he came back. Mm. I just read Mystery Narnia. Also, he's Jesus. Yeah, yeah there's that too. That. He's also right. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. But isn't everyone... Because yeah. Jesus is not like mm-hmm. an original story. No, oh, no. We are now no. losing viewers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've wandered off. Let's, go. Let's talk about Zora Story. <laughs> I wish they would talk more about theology. I don't understand why they play games. Uh, anyway. Great. You don't see, right. currently, you don't see anything else in Do the we chamber. sense a presence here? Oh, yeah. For is sure. this the source of this? Is that, yes, is it my, is. Yeah. my faded scarf uh, doing anything? I mean, yeah, it definitely feels, you can feel, you're more present, like, you can feel it, you know, it's not like, it, it, there's like a pressure there, like, you know, it's, it's, it almost feels like the scar itself is, is moving a bit, like, you know, like, kind of, uh, slightly shifting and moving, like a living thing. I, um, I walk up to Jorah, and I'm, like, nuzzling the hand that has the hammer, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. She what? wants you to use the hammer on then, the temple. And then I walk over to the, um, uh, Altar, mm-hmm. and then back to you, and I'll use like, the hammer. hammer on the altar. And then I'll <laughs> use the hammer. Good, I'm standing and, right next to you. <laughs> and although although the the temple is corrupted, this is also a sacred temple of you know of the forest. So no, I know. there I'm, are consequences to having this be destroyed. Um, the consequences are that I get a bonus. So, <laughs> damn <laughs> motive. Uh, do we know that it's the temp? Is this temple? Is that it, altar really the thing that's anchoring? But uh, you know demon? what, uh, Indra, I feel like you should go and examine. All right. I 
have not memorized Detect Magic. Do I have a cantrip? You can also just use a you know a basic skill. You know all about okay. magic stuff. You could spout lore or you know. Uh, yeah, let's try and or discern look at realities. It. Discern realities. Discern realities. I think. Good. All right. So yeah, make a make a wisdom roll. That's uh, six plus one is seven. Okay, so that's hold one. So you could ask one of those discern realities questions. I will ask on the list of questions. Oh, but what happens with our flags, by the way? Do they get reset? Yeah. I don't think we've done any flags this turn. No, this I just did. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. No. What here is useful or valuable to you, I think? What here is useful or valuable to you? What's your thing? Um, okay, uh, well, this is, um, uh, as you know, there are places where you can perform oh. rituals. This is a place where a ritual could be performed. Um, uh, so you definitely like if you you and Gorlock might be able to do something similar to what you did uh, when you were you know dismissing the other demon. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have the the protecting pentagram, uh, and, but you could you could use the power of this place to help him uh, basically you know destroy whatever anchors the demon. Vanish. Yeah, right. But do I sense that it is this altar? Um, it's the altar else? and the stone circle itself. And this whole stone yeah. circle. Yeah. I think it's more than the altar. I think it's the entire circle, people. Unless I'm absolutely sure. The simplest solution would be for me to try to destroy this altar. But I, unless I'm absolutely sure that this is the anchor, I cannot do it. I can't defile another temple. I see what you did there. <laughs> 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 Point goes to you. <laughs> well, then you don't have to destroy it. Oh, but you have the hammer. Mm -hmm. Can you give me the hammer? No. <laughs> well, rock. Well, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm I want to swat the hammer out of his hand. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll dodge. Yeah. Well, so have her I you, roll, you roll yeah. first, yeah. And yes. then why don't you do an opposing roll of um, yes. dexterity? Um, You'll... so do I get a bonus for being a lion? Um, yeah, uh, we'll give you a plus one to your dexterity roll since you're a lion. Okay, so oh, this is dex? Yeah. So the five, seven, eight. What'd you roll? Nine. All right, no go. It's too quick for you. Ugh. Can I try and grab that? Draw it. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I've sensed that it is this altar, but it may also be the circle around it. If we start with the altar, we will see. Okay, what do we need? Because I can get my friends to come and give it to her. You've got friends here? <laughs> I mean, I can ask them. I, can, well, I guess I would take time. Yes. <laughs> Back to the city and get friends. That's yeah. a great idea. Well, uh, Gorlock says perhaps we should cast... Some protection. Hey, let Gorok speak. We're working together. We're a team. I think we should we should use we should use our spell to help unanchor the demon. We could perform a ritual to do that, and but someone's going to have to smash these stones. Fine. All right. Uh, Gorlock starts pulling some stuff out of his bag. Uh, ritual, I, you know. I'll pull my ritual things. pieces out as well. I tap, I tap the altar with the hammer. All right. As you approach the altar, uh, you see that there is now an old lady standing in front of the altar. Ooh. Does it look like a grandma version of Hillcrest? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Hello. Who are you? I guess it's more hey. of a growl. Everyone sees her. Yeah, everyone sees her. Hey, lady. I didn't catch your name uh, last time. You might. This is Zornod. Oh right, I forgot. I did catch your name. You must be Zornod. It's Arnud. Zorod. Zornod. Zornod. Zornod the bleak. Zornod the bleak. Yeah. I hear. You don't look very bleak to me. You don't. I I can see it. I can see bleakness. Yeah, rather chipper. Joke, joke if you want to. 
But you are all doomed. Uh, am I doomed? No, you would be one of us. And so your earlier statement darkness. was then incorrect. I said I'd be a demon. No, 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 I mean her. her your man. power is nothing against Galbraith. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck it up. <laughs> she starts to like transform uh, and becomes like a kind of a gigantic, huge sort of crone-like creature uh, that is much taller than all of you. Crone? Uh, crone. Oh, and a, like crone. like like exaggerated, terrifying so like looking. In like, Wicked, when Alphaba like rises, yeah, defying gravity. Yeah, he's defying gravity. Yeah, hey. um, but larger, like larger than you know yeah. than quick. Than, yeah, and uh, yeah, and yeah, she's attacking you. So. Okay, all right. Oh. Start destroying the thing. We're performing our ritual. All right, you guys start performing the ritual. Yes, I'm going to aid or interfere. When she goes to attack him. All right. I'm gonna jump at her. Which <laughs> 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 you like? My lion jumping. All right. So you're aiding him basically. Yes. So make a hack and slash roll. Uh, you can add plus two because you got a, a okay a lion helping you. So this will be your move though. So you're gonna have to turn back into a human after this. That's fine. It's an elf. Roll plus bond. She's an elf. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm an elf. We do have a bond. Right. You're an we elf. do, but like, how is that just, we have the one bond, so it, how does that work with a roll? Uh, that's a good question. I think the bond is just a plus one. So, okay. but I'm giving you a plus two because you're also transformed into a lion, so. And is it, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, but you're using that move. What does the move say? For it says when you help or hinder someone uh, you have a bond with, roll plus bond with them. On a 10 or more, uh, they take plus one, or negative two, I get to decide. Uh, on a seven through nine, you also expose yourself to danger, retribution, or cost. Cool, real slim margin of success on this, helping. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. how it is. Yeah. Okay, make a roll. You and your bond. No, 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 that's a five. All right, so yeah, oh, as sorry, you- six. Like As you seven. kind of rush over uh, to help, uh, yeah, she just like, with one of her giant like paw claws, hand claws, she just like swats you aside and you go flying and slam against a wall uh, far away. Um, and then turn back into an elf? Yeah, you take damage for it, but then you turn back into an elf, so I think you're no all damage. healed. But so, yeah, but you were definitely like, that was not okay. All right, so you're uh, gonna roll 10 total. Slash. 10, ten total. total. Yeah. Uh, great, uh, so roll your roll your damage. Is this a D10 with the hammer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Seven. no, with the hammer, it's 2D, 2D6. Oh, right. Sorry, it's 2D6, yeah. Seven. All right, so yeah, you were able to get a nice uh, slash uh, across, uh, like across her, 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 her midsection. And it sliced her, the hammer? Yeah, well, oh, that's right, you got a hammer, I'm sorry, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, so you slam you slam her with the hammer. Um, you're able to like slam one of her hands away oh. uh, as she's like reaching for you, like bam, and you're like and it's swinging her. It's like ah, and she's kind of off balance. Uh, great. What is everyone else doing? So ritual, 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 ritual. Yeah. yeah, me and Bastion are gonna team up together yeah. and come and attack. Good. So are you attacking like a physical attack or are you shooting arrows? Um. I think I'm gonna go in for a physical attack. Mm -hmm. Me and Bastion are gonna run in together. Okay. I've got my sword. He's got his teeth. gigantic bear yeah. body. Yeah. <laughs> He's got his bear body. His <laughs> bear body. All right, yeah. great. So uh, yeah, you're gonna roll because uh, I believe you also have a finesse weapon. So you're gonna roll Dex, and you can add his ferocity to that attack. Okay. So. Um, uh, seven, eight, nine to ferocity, um, twelve. Okay, so an uh, all right. Uh, so roll your damage, which 12. is I believe a die eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all good. I did it. Good. So yeah, roll a, a die eight. We're trying to synchronize. Yeah. yeah. Ready? <laughs> mm -hmm. And you can add the, you can add the um the bear's ferocity to the to the damage as well. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. 11. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're able to like, uh, with your with your like uh, your, your what do you have like a short sword? Yeah. Or, yeah. You're able to like slash at the thing's legs while while Bastion is distracting her and she's like Aah! trying to like get Bastion and Bastion like grabs on one of her arms and you're like stab 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 Bitch. and she's like. Aah! Oh, all right, uh, you, he's, uh, doing you do, he's doing ritual. Yeah. Can I use this to think Sorry, of a way to ward her off? Yeah, he's great. So um, you feel like you might be able to, yeah, do you want to try to use uh, the power to, to somehow connect with her and distract her? Yeah. Ooh. All right, uh, make, a, make a wisdom roll. What are you doing? Um, why are you pushing me? That's the... <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Sorry, I don't get to add anything, right? Seven. All right. Um, so uh, you feel like you can kind of, like, you feel a connection to her, so you can kind of almost anticipate what she's doing. Oh, good. Uh, but you also feel like she kind of has a connection to you at the same time. Great. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, w uh, so what do you want to do with this information? I want to warn them of her moves beforehand. All right, um, uh, you realize that she is about to heal herself by using the power of the uh, stones that she's connected to. Okay, you guys got to destroy those stones it, it, really fast because she can heal herself with those. Yeah, um, so yeah, she kind of uh, like goes, ah! and disappears for a second, but you can feel like uh, the stones kind of uh, glowing a bit. Destroy the stones. Use your magic. What's going on? I need an update. Fine. All right. Yeah. I take one of the. I go at one of the, the stones. Make a strength roll. Ah no. Five. Uh, five. Five. Yeah. Um. Uh, or six actually. All right. You're gonna take a die six of damage, but you're able to destroy the stone. But there's like a magical backlash. Okay. As you do it, um, and it the, the armor doesn't help with this. It's like right. pure magical backlash damage. Uh, so yeah, so you're like ah, but the stone, one of the stones is is broken, um, and uh, she uh, like reforms, um, and now and it's the same like giant crone like form. She's like ah, and, and how many she's like stones coming after you. Uh, no, there's more than three. Uh, there's like kind of a circle of them, but if you feel like you you have to break all of them, but if you break some of them, then this place will be no longer a place of power, and you will stop her. So what is their magic doing right now? It's helping this happen. So uh, why don't you make a uh, an, an intelligence roll for your spell? You get an extra plus one because Gorlock is helping you. Okay, uh, roll the nine. I get a plus two. Uh, it's eleven plus one for Gorlock. That's a twelve. All right, great. So when you broke that stone, like there was an, an, a magical arc that went over to another one of the stones in the circle and also cracked, uh, cracked that one. So two of the stones are now nice. are now broken, and that was because of you guys. Yeah, uh, guys. She turns around and she looks at the two wizards, and it looks like she's gonna, you know, she's gonna uh, attack the wizards. And we got to attack them. you. We're yeah. busy. <laughs> um, Good. I how far from the ceiling of this? Because we're like still under the bottom of it. It's oh, a right? giant dome, basically. You're so in how far from the top of the dome is the top of the stones? Are they close or very, very far? They're very far. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be super dexterous and run up and basically like run up the side of one of the stones parkour style <laughs> and then like jump off and use my shillelagh to hit her in the back of the head and okay. basically like run up behind her and like thwack her to, to I don't know, well, that's a She's going after... Challenge. Going yeah, up the All right. that bitch. Uh, probably that's a dexterity. That's yes. Definitely a dexterity attack. For sure. So that's an uh, eleven. That's pretty good. Uh, great. Do you want? Would you rather do like extra damage, or would you rather like just stun her? Stun. Okay. So you're gonna do what's your normal damage? Die six. You're gonna do a die four. Okay. Uh. Oh. Yeah. This one right there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. It was hidden by the lip. It was. Pesky lip. Three. All right. So, yeah, she's kind of disoriented for a moment. So, you can all have like an action where you can do something while she kind of recovers. Yes. Still, but you're going to you're gonna hit another stone? Mm -hmm. Make a strength roll. Five. All right. You'll take another die six. Yes. All right. Uh, let me tally this up. 
paladin may kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you make an intelligence roll. My plan is working. <laughs> Nine again, so twelve. All right, another two more stones are broken. Yeah, uh, you, it feels like the power is waning. Like it's very close to kind of like uh, fading out of this place. Um, yeah. Anyone else want to do? Who didn't do something? You're kind of just watching what she's doing. I guess. Yeah, I'm feeling it, anticipating her next move. I'm gonna right. shoot. You shoot an arrow at her. Yeah. All right, go ahead and make a roll. Want to shoot? Got. Mm, nine. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. I believe you didn't cheat. You got no more dice. Yeah, natural nine. Yeah. So great. So uh, yeah, roll your full damage. Yeah, roll a die. Eight. Um, so that's at least a ten with your bonus. I'm sure. All right. Yeah. So an arrow sticks like right into right into her shoulder. A little thump, and she's like. Aah! Um, I think it's more like squeak. I rolled so Pew, 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 pew. Uh, great. Uh, she reaches down and she grabs Gorlock in one hand. Uh -oh. and she like r lifts him up and she's like ah, about to like bite his bite into his head. He's like ah, yeah. Can I parlay and try to talk her out of it? Uh, <laughs> she seems pretty rational, right? <laughs> yeah, not a, not a time where parlay <laughs> might work. You might be able to, if you want to try to like draw on whatever this thing is inside of you, you can try to like stop her if you want. Or um, let him die and become a demon. No, I'm going to try to stop her. I don't trust myself as a demon. All right, uh, go ahead, make a roll. Um, this will be this will be charisma, actually. Wow, the nine plus one. Yeah. All right, she stops, and she says, "You may not drink from the cup now, cool, but one day you will, and you will find that the drink is sweet." And she like throws the throws the wizard at you, and like kind of like tumbles you over, <laughs> and you both kind of land together. Um, uh, and you can go and add another stone if you want to. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Not as sweet as getting you out of here. Yeah, take another die six as the lightning <laughs> strikes into you. How are you doing over there? Uh, I got uh, two hit points left. <laughs> oh my god! So the paladin, god good. Darn the paladin it. is in real oh my bad shape. Guys, he cannot die. <laughs> 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 All right, now you don't have Gorlock's help this time, no, so it's you're it's just gonna make your own roll. Yeah. All right, uh, nine and two is a. Oh wow, great. All right, so <laughs> another stone cracks and you see her go ah! and it's like she kind of cracks into into pieces as well. You feel the power is draining oh. out of this location. The the magic is is fading away. Um and uh yeah, she falls down on her on all fours and she's like ah! and she's kind of diminishing and diminishing and then finally you just see uh lying there there is a um a lady, not an older version of you, but just some lady that you don't recognize. Some rando. Hey, lady. Is she alive? She's dead. Oh. Can I kick her? No. Oh. <laughs> Why would you I kick mean, her? Nothing would stop you. Because she tried to destroy everybody. I, I don't think, I didn't it was think her. she did that. It was a demon that needed it to It was the demon. I get that. It okay, kick her. Woman. Fine. Kick her. All right. I kick her. But not very hard. <laughs> Uh, Gor Gorlock goes over to her and rolls her over, and he looks really upset. Gorlock, what, what's you know going her? on? She was a member of my cabal. Dead. I thought everyone in your cabal died. She looks dead. So well, did maybe I. we just killed her. Or How many were in your cabal? I believe. Were there six other people in your cabal? There were, there were five other people. Including so her. So six total, there are six demons, which means you could be a demon. Uh-oh. But I'm not a demon. Yeah, right. Says the demon. Says the demon. I'm not a demon. <laughs> hmm. You well, better you mark killed, demon. Yeah, but that's just because I told him I would. Well, okay, so there's six total. You lot killed one before. Mm-hmm. You have five me. people in your cabal. This is one of them. So maybe the four other people from your cabal are running around as demons. So we've got four demons left. Is that, is that, does that maths work for everyone? 
That seems right to me. Great. Unless you know something more, Dwayne. No, I, I, I know nothing more. Mm. Um, discern, no, can I do, mm, can I do a discern reality on that? Or is that a parley? What do you want to, what do you want to know? I just want to see What do you try, lying? what's your goal? I mean, I want to see if he's lying. Um. Or is he genuinely confused? Um. Hmm. See if he's lying. There's not really a role for that in Dungeon World. Uh, go ahead and just make a make an intelligence roll. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna go real well. Would you rather it was like no, wisdom because... or? I mean, it might be it might be wisdom. I I, I mean, can see. Is, yeah. yeah. Wisdom. I would see. I could see wisdom. Uh, can uh, eleven. You believe him? Okay. I say yeah. I I, I tell the rest of you. He he seems genuinely. Not a demon. He's not a demon. No, it's so how many are left? Demon. Four still. There, it sounds reasonable that there's four. If there were five other members of the cabal, we've just got right. But of there's one. six demons, right? Didn't you say though that this temple was how she was able to get here? So, do we know if the other ones maybe this affected them at all, or well, do they have their own little temple? It. Or I don't know. Yeah, can they share a connection? Do they have to have one each? That's a good question. Can you I heal any other demons? Can you consult I, your little... I will cons I'll think about what Uncle Ted said. Uh, Jorad, I would like to stay here and, and do research here, if you don't mind. I I think there's there might be answers here. And... All right. Uh, You've you, taught you, me the rituals well, to... Garlock. I thank you. Um, if your Uncle Ted talks again... My TED Talks? <laughs> um, I hope he says something intelligent and has a good PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> I can roll, I can spout lore. Yeah. You want to spout lore? About what specifically? About if the demons are tethered to different locations. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Or different people with scars on their chest. Yeah. That are also demons. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. Okay. Six. Yeah, you have no idea. Nope, I don't remember Ted. Uh, or like, uh, if, how may we reach you if, uh, well, I suppose we can come back. And I'll be here if you need to find me. I stick my hand out. He, like, kneel, he, like, kneels down in front of you and he, like, takes your hand. And he's like, That's just awkward. I shake him. <laughs> right. But there's no need to kneel. I kneel before your mercy, Jorad. It's not up to me. But you're granting it. It's yeah. The it's okay. not the yeah. court's granting it. It's you Just granting it. Just say Take the compliment or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to point anything lawful here, but no one went to a court to make that forgiveness happen. Oh my gosh! Just let it go. <laughs> All right. Cool. I just stare. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take it. Anyone else? Anyone want to do anything else? I would like to take a piece of broken stone, put it in my pouch. All right, great. I uh, he need who needs healing? <laughs> he needs you. Need I need healing. healing. Do I like? Can I lay my hands on myself? Yeah. Well, there's also time but for you to private. kind of rest up. There'll be time for you to rest up. <laughs> Just do that in private, all right? We're, we're kind of reaching uh, the between adventure time, so you can like you know rest up here. Yeah. And stock. The evil has left this area too, so it's a pretty you know safe place. Hey, I now, feel so. like this has gone okay. down a little. Yeah. No, no you it's just it's so pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> there. It's yeah. very very noticeable. Um, yeah. Next time you should draw something. Here. <laughs> get some eyeliner or something. And like eyeliner? You can draw. You just color it in. Yeah, color it in. <laughs> I feel like that would make it more noticeable. <laughs> or if you draw over no, it, no, in real life. Like, so that next time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I have. Okay. And it is an eyeball, so eyeliner. Right, right. Good work, everyone, in destroying and dispelling this. Yeah, I think demon. I, you know. Everybody did a great job. Everybody helped you out. You should be proud of yourselves. Give yourselves a pat on the back. That felt weird.
Uh, all right, so we're about reaching the end of the session, so let's kind of go over the end of session stuff for Dungeon World. Mm -hmm. So you have your experience points from last time still. Yes. Uh, just FYI. Um, great. So uh, first of all, um, did anyone resolve any bonds? Did anyone hit any uh, flags? I hit Jor flags. Jorad will play an important role in the events to come. Hasn't really been resolved yet. No, though. I don't think so. Yeah. Do they know incriminating details about me? Has they really said it? I haven't said anything. Uh, has nothing hasn't been revealed yet. So yeah, uh, Hillcrest is still keeping a secret from me, mm -hmm. and maybe from herself. Um, I feel like, well, maybe unless it's a different secret. Yeah. But, um, my I, my flag was hit. None of my bonds were resolved. Okay. So who hit your flag? Um, sort of everybody, I guess maybe. So my flag is to participate in a wild and unlikely scheme when we're in a pinch, which. We, I don't know, we went down in front of a demon and started hitting rocks. <laughs> it seemed a little unlikely. Wild. Yeah, but choose a specific person who you feel like kind of it's bad. Can only be one person. You can, only one person in the session can hit your flag, so. Who was it really uh, your, who, your who went first into the cave? I think it's him. One. All right, yeah. so that's an experience point for you. Anyone Which is else? great, because I, I hit his flag. Yeah. Yeah. So you get an experience point for hitting his flag. Yeah, which was, uh, I basically asked him to do the really obvious simple solution, so just so he could refuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I love that flag. <laughs> yeah. I hit uh, his flag. Yeah, you hit my flag. Asked me to an examine an important object. Uh -huh. You asked me to examine the temple, so... She gets, so you get an experience point one? for that. Well, we're gonna get, you're gonna get more, so just this is just one to, to start with. Good. Is yeah. that it? Any other flags? No, no one hit mine, and I didn't hit anyone. Nobody hit mine. Good. Uh, everyone, look at your alignment. Did you fulfill what your alignment says? So, what I is, did. what's your alignment? Uh, destroy a symbol of civilization. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yay. <laughs> Discover something about a magical mystery. Yeah, that yeah, you definitely got an experience point for that. You just get one point for that. You get one for I think I went against my alignment. Deny mercy to a criminal or unbeliever. Deny mercy to a criminal mm. or unbeliever. No, you actually gave mercy yeah. to a yeah. criminal or unbeliever. Yeah. yeah. You get a minus I, one point. Yeah, do I get docked experience? No, there's no docking. Okay. You just don't get a point for it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Why you is learn... the world not black and white? <laughs> what about you? What's your alignment? Uh, uh, goal? Shift danger or blame from yourself to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. I think you did yeah, that. You yeah. totally did yeah. that. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, I feel like you did that. Uh, Just kind of subtly in general the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it was always what, Uncle Ted's fault. Yeah. 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 What's your alignment? Uh, Help goal. an animal or spirits of the wild. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you helped the entire forest. Yeah, it's true. You did help a spirit of the wild by cleansing this this temple. So yeah, for sure, you get an experience point for that. Great. All right. So now as a team, uh, did you learn something new and important about the world? Yeah. Yes. What is the, it? There's a learn? number of there's... demons still on the loose here. Yeah, yeah. that's and pretty important. And they may be tethered to certain things. Mm -hmm. Name or Hillcrest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Great, so that's an experience point. Uh, did you overcome a notable monster or enemy? Well, yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. overcame the demon, yeah. Did you loot a memorable treasure? She did, maybe. I mean, I just took a piece of the... Bonded, I don't think, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't yeah, think you looted right. a memorable treasure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, this time. Cool, all right. Uh, so how many experience, so yeah, so add up those experience points with the others. We'll see if anyone has enough to level again. I did. So what, how many points do you have total? Eight. Wow. Um, How much do you so need when to level you, up? You need assistant? equal to your the level you are, mm -hmm. your current level plus seven. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, oh never mind. So you need nine. If you're all second level, you need nine to go up to the third level. I didn't do that. Yeah. Five. Yeah. So probably another adventure to go up another level, right? Yeah. Wait, my plus seven? What, you have to get to one? You have to get your current level plus seven. So two plus seven is nine. Oh, OK. So you're one away. Oh. You need ten. You need I'm sorry nine. I didn't get your poll. I need, I'm getting it. But you need talking. nine. So whatever, your current level is two. Yeah. So if you add seven to that, that's nine. Mm -hmm. So to become third level, you need to spend nine experience points. 
And you've got eight right now. Ah, I see. Does that make sense? Yes. I just wrote it down wrong then. Yeah, whatever your current level is, plus seven is how much you need to go up to the next level. Ah, okay. In the dungeon world. The world of dungeons. Sounds really dark. It's a world of dungeons. A world of darkness. Um, cool. So, uh, we do a little bit in-between stuff, too, now that since we, we've got some time. I'm sorry. Uh, if we, if we ever please get continue a, with your song. If we ever get a bard to join this party, you know, they can improvise songs. We don't need no stinking <laughs> bard. Need a bard. We're all bards. <laughs> We're all um, little monsters. Multiclassed as bards. Get <laughs> your mm. <laughs> I, 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 I reluctantly <laughs> acknowledge <laughs> what you're doing. He's got this wing. I don't know. <laughs> her hair's supposed to be messy. I'm trying to help her. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, any any questions or adventures or oh. things, next things? Or um, where, where, uh, are we going to head back into the uh, city? To town. Um, I do have a question. Tuscan? Yes. We live in Hopeshire. I have a question. How many yards was it from the cave entrance to not where thousands. the temple was? For sure not thousands. Yeah, over a hundred, but not, probably not thousand. Can Definitely you smell not from hundreds of yards. I revise my lore. <laughs> hundreds of yards. Lore revised. Lore revised. <laughs> Thank you for red unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Um, so uh, we'll call this session here, and uh, yeah, we'll I just go around. I think this is how we call it. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Wait. Uh, be we should follow just Joseph. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if we do this? Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, that's right. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so thanks, everyone, <laughs> who watched this. And uh, we, yeah, we are the unreliable narrator. Let's go around really quickly once again and uh, Hi. Say, say your names. I'm Ash. Uh, Moonclad underscore Ash. Helen. Helen. Alamano. Andrew, the hockey pool. Jill, doesn't it just say it right there? Yeah. At Silly Jilly Marie. Yes, uh, Mike uh, at, at Mike Villeneuve. Yeah, and I'm Joseph Limbaugh at Overdroid. Thank you for watching. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. And thank you, uh, thank you Q Times for letting us do this. Yay! Thank you Q Times. Yay!